<sighs> we just gotta check. Just for. <gasps> hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. This is Neo from the future. I have never done this before, but I'm just gonna tell you in all of my 15 years of playing Minecraft, nothing as insane as what happens in this video has happened to me before. This is truly. Might be world breaking, probably not, but the, the world record breaking, probably not, but this is seriously the craziest episode ever. You gotta watch this. And if you're not the kind of person who wants to watch this, break it up into pieces. You gotta watch this, dude. I cannot believe what happens. Again, I've never filmed like a little intro video or anything, but I had to make sure that you guys see what happens in this episode because it's crazy, dude. I'm not just doing this like, you know me. You've watched my videos before. I don't do this kind of stuff, but dude, this is crazy. Let's play it. Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to episode 21 of my Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play like it's 2010 again. So, in the last episode, we built this Enderman XP farm. We also finished the Creeper farm. Go back and watch episode 20 if you missed it. It's a good one. So, the premise of this farm, if I can do this without dying, is that these Endermen... I don't know, if you watched last episode, just skip ahead like one minute. So these Endermen spawn here on this little thin platform, and I stare at them, right? I stare at them from over there. And even if I look at these guys from over here, which I don't think I really can because I can't see their head, but they can get angry all they want. They can only teleport 32 blocks, and this platform is 33 blocks away. And all of the blocks available for teleport all have water. And when they're waterlogged, Endermen cannot teleport to them. So, you go over here, let me just glide down for a second, and you stare at the Enderman like this, so, and then make sure you don't move your mouse, and you're just staring at the Enderman, yep, maybe a little bit over, and because of entity cramming, I just have to hit every little bit, and it works very well, <laughs> as you can tell. So this is much easier than having to use an Endermite and all that, you're using the principle of, you know, when you look at them, they get angry at you. And uh, eventually, there will be enough in here, and they will be so angry, uh, they will kill themselves, basically. Just because, you know, there's so many in one little spot. As long as I hit every once in a while, as long as I've damaged them, even just a little bit, even if Entity Cramming is the final kill, I will get the XP. So yeah, it's a pretty nice farm. It's pretty easy to build. And uh, the creator of it says that it takes a little bit. It's not my design or anything. The creator of this says that it takes a few minutes to warm up. And we're, we're not going to warm it up. You know what? I'll sit here and I'll click for a little bit. I'll see if it gets more, more quick in a bit. I'll keep going. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, his design was a little bit different. I made mine like a tiny bit different, but... Either way, it definitely works. Like, we're definitely getting a lot of XP. And then if we ever want, like, a bunch of Ender Pearls, we can just kind of crouch and take a little bit of damage and then get a lot of Ender Pearls. I don't have, like, a collection system, but in my opinion, it's really not too important that I get every last Ender Pearl in here. They are... Th I'm pretty sure the XP is getting trapped here, so maybe we'll remove that. Because that might be a lot of XP that's actually trapped there. Oh. Oh, that was where most of the XP is. I was wondering why I wasn't getting more XP. <laughs> so that's exactly why. Let's see, I quit looking at him, so... Yeah. I don't know how much XP this is, but let's let's find out. We'll find out together. Um, uh, should be almost done. Yeah, that was a good bit of XP. Cool. Okay, so I wanted to get another Elytra, because as I was saying, like, once uh, Lauren is able to help me mine this quarry, which we're still going to do the quarry, it would be very wise of us to have another Elytra. So we're going to fly into this bad boy right here, and we are just going to go find another Elytra real quick, because now that we have one Elytra, it's so much easier to get them. It's not not like a struggle any longer. Um, so we got super lucky, like right off the bat, we spawned in and there was one right here. It also wouldn't hurt to get more shulker boxes, but they're just kind of a pain to get. I mean, you guys know the story. They're just kind of temperamental, to say the least. And they hit you, and then you float, and it's like... <laughs> it can be fun, right? Like, I mean, it's not, it's not, you know, bad or anything, but it's like... It's one of those... I don't know. They're, they're fun to get. I have looting three, so I, I should get more. But, like, I'm already getting so damaged, because I don't have my chest plate on. 
you know, if I carried like a bucket of milk with me, that would actually be like super helpful. But let's see if, can I go grab this one? Was there another one? No, you were right here. Can I hit you until you, do you drop one? So I think it's two shulker shells per, and we can run through this a lot quicker when we have, oh, there's one, one right there. Uh, we can run through this a lot quicker because it's always kind of painful before you have a, an elytra to go in here. I don't know. I've just been feeling good about Minecraft. I've been playing a lot of beta 1.7.3, as I told you in the last episode. And, uh, yeah, again, I'm completely serious. If you guys want to see a series on that, uh, me playing the version of Minecraft I played the most, I've forgotten a lot of the stuff in it because it's been years. But if that's something you guys want to see, let me know because I would love to make a series on that. I'm just afraid that not too many people would watch it just because it's such an antiquated version and a lot of people have never played it at all. And I might die in here. I might die in here. I think I need this on. Because <laughs> that's like most of your armor is from uh, from your chest piece anyways. And I try to I try to hit these things as quick as I can, but sometimes they're they're coming from all angles. No, I almost got a <laughs> uh, wait 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 wait. Mm, no, I don't want. I was gonna say if I had a block, wait. What if I put this down and then make it go... Okay, well, doesn't matter. You know what? Honestly... Whoa, dude, that's pretty good. That's some pretty good loot. I'm not I'm not going to lie. I don't have a silk touch tool, but I could break this and get some obsidian. It's eight obsidian, and that's like a not... That's not like a little bit by any means. Ugh, I do love end rods. Need to get more of these things, man. Okay, where is this coming from? Where are you? Oh, you're right here. Yeah, I got the shulker shell. Let's go. Okay, so maybe... Oh, yeah. Okay, things are looking up. There's another one in here. I don't know how many of these we need, but I know that it's going to be super helpful when we're mining this quarry because, again, we're doing a 100 by 100 quarry. We're going to need a lot of shulker shells. So we got eight. That's enough for four more shulker boxes. And let me put this on. And then let's get out of here. Let's go over to another spot. Um, I don't know where a good place to go is, but I can try in here. No, 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 I don't want to try in it. We need to go find another elytra. So, where is... So, that's our spawn platform. Let me find these coordinates. Because I'm just gonna... I just kind of want them. So, 400, 1200. Okay. So, 400, 1200. Oh, dude, no way. What? Dude, we got the luckiest spawn. There was one of these worlds where, like, I kid you not, I was wa I was walking because, you know, I didn't have the elytra yet for, like, an hour and a half trying to get this. Also, you know what would be super smart of us to get that we uh, totally could have... Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I don't think it likes, likes being put... Uh, it likes being put on things. Okay. Sorry to disturb you. Your greatness. Uh, one purper. No, no, we don't need that. Honestly, do we, we don't need seven iron. I'll, I'll keep the emeralds and stuff, but like, we don't need seven iron. Let's be honest. We have an iron farm. Can I hit this? Oh, we kind of hit it. And you could still like whack them. It's like I'm playing an aim, aim trainer. But we don't get the looting effect. And I don't I don't really know if that affects shulkers or not. If it makes them have a higher chance of dropping. I I don't know. We could at least whack them once with this. And then we can still damage them when they're closed, just a lot less. Okay. Uh Depth Strider 3, Protection 4. Dude, these are actually mending and protection four. It's not as good, but we could add that to our helmet. Mending iron sword. Okay, again, just the emeralds and the gold. Yeah, I really like looting, uh, looting some end ships in here. It's kind of nice. Um, all right, let's go over to here. Wait, can we make it? No way. Oh, that's crazy. It's like they designed it to, to do that. Did they actually? I don't think so, but they might have. Excuse me. I know they can teleport, but like, where did it go? Because to me, it seemed like it just straight disappeared. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want the levitation out here. It makes it so much harder. No, okay. 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 Well, I guess we're going over here. I guess we're going in here. 
Okay, we got zero seconds left. Can we go in here and sabotage him from behind? Nope, there's too many in here. Don't hit me, please. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty good. Let's go. Oh, that's where he teleported. Nice. Okay, so I think having five more shulker boxes is enough. Uh, which we have over five. We need one more shulker shell. I'm not going to leave with just like a, a weird division of what we need. There's one up there, but that's kind of a pain. Maybe there's one in here. I guess we were just in there. Well, where's another little section of this thing? Is there one? Oh, yeah, there's this down here. And this is where the chest room is, I believe. Yeah, breaking in from the back. Dude, that's such a good shovel. That is such a good shovel. Okay, okay, there's quite a few in here. Oh, no. Okay, well, we, we might get another extra shulker box, which is great. Wow, okay, we're gonna put this on immediately, and we need to eat. Okay. Dude, come on. <laughs> die from... Die from these guys. Oh, come on! No! Stop! You know, that is really what I think Minecraft needs more than anything, is an end update. I love the end. I think it's cool. But I th I feel like they could do so much. You know, they did so much... Oh, man, I got hit again. They did so much with the, uh... With the nether update. I, so I know I know they have it in them. I know they have it in them to do something really cool with the end. And that's what... That's what I'm kind of excited to see. Okay, we have 17. We got to get at least one more. No, where did you teleport to? Where did you teleport to? I heard you teleport. You teleport in here? What? Yeah, is, are, is this you? Knock, knock. Hello? Yay, 18. Okay, so that's enough for nine more. Oh, no. Come on, dude. Can we? Can you even fly when you have... <clears throat> no, you cannot. You cannot fly. Uh, but there's our portal right there. We didn't have to, like, spend a bunch of time in here at all. I say this is a very successful trip, actually. Super duper successful. Nice. I was worried it would be here for a while. Now, I... I hesitate to try this, but I do want to see. Can I... Oh, oh baby. Oh baby, that was good. <laughs> Let's go. We're, we're just on a roll today. Can we uh, glide our way into... Mm, not quite, not quite. And here we are, back in the stronghold. Again, I do want to do more with this in the future, but for now, I think we're just going to leave it like this. Um, we don't need all that. I will keep the armor with us, but I don't think I'm going to need it for a little bit. Oh, we don't even have enough. We have too many shulker boxes for our... Oh, that's so nice. Okay, well, now we obviously need to color them all a bunch of different colors. Uh, we, we we definitely need a blue one, so we can do a blue one. I don't believe redstone will do anything. I don't think we have any other dye colors in here. We need nine diamonds. We'll take those out. Everything else is okay being left here. I'm, I'm not concerned about anything else. Um, We can just put like the armor and stuff we got from there. That's crazy we got all that. That's like that's honestly really nice. Just put all the loot in there. Can you put? No. That's right. You can't do shulkerception and have shulker boxes in your shulker boxes. We'll put, we'll put seven torches in here. Now, one thing that I really wanted to do. Um, I didn't really have a plan for this episode, which is fine. But I uh, also, I got to figure out which one of these. This one we need to color next. So when we fly back home. Assuming it, I don't know, is it becoming day or becoming night? Let's see, is it getting darker? I want to make like a central storage room. I know we have a storage room in our castle, but we're not always in our castle. I believe it's getting dark. Um, so I really, really want to actually like flesh that out and have a nice storage room. Uh, be, and, and use ender chests and stuff like that. Because at the moment, we just have a smorgasbord of chests. Like if you saw, there's a bunch of chests here. It's so strange how this flying mechanic works. I will never understand it. Um... It's just all, it's, it's all whopper jod. You know what I mean? It's all over here and over there. And it's just like, yeah, I don't like it. Um, let me go see. Let me find some stone and we'll get ourselves I'm trying to see if I see any other colored materials. I know cactus can do green and then green and white will do lime green, but I'd have to find like a flower in here. I just need to get enough stone so I can make myself a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a furnace. We don't I, don't. I don't think we have any wood. Oh yeah, we do. We actually have just enough. Perfect. Okay. 
Uh, no. No, sir. A little furnace action. A little this, a little that. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Okay. And then we'll have green, which is perfect. Might as well grab a little bit of wood while we're just sitting here waiting on that to cook. Because I assume we might need some more. I won't get the whole tree. But I'll get some of it. Will we ever find this tree again? I'd be like, why did I do that? Mm, maybe. Probably. Okay, so some green dyes. We'll do a green shulker box. Nice. Okay, so now we have red, green, and blue. All the primary colors. I, I, actually, Roy G. Biv. There's more, but... All the primary colors of a modern display. Red, green, and blue. There we go. And if some have cyan now. We're not getting into this. We're not getting into this. Okay, so we need to look for some, like, yellow. I was... I, th I thought this was a colored object, but I think it's just a sheep in the bush. Is it? No, a panda! A panda! Hello, panda! I'm going to make your day so great. I'm going to make your day so great. We're going to give you so much bamboo. You're going to have the best time. Yes. The most useless mob in Minecraft, maybe. The cutest? Yes, for sure. I mean, there's there's literally no contest. Okay, here you go. You can just have the rest. I don't need to stand there and hand it to you. You're a grown panda. Not a baby panda anymore. So on our, on our journey back home, we'll make sure we'll stop. We see some flowers. We guess got yellow and red. I don't think you can combine those colors. because I'm pretty sure in real life they would make like a brown color. Maybe it gives you brown. Oh, orange. Yeah, that's why I don't do art. <laughs> I do a little bit of graphic art. You know, I make all my own thumbnails and stuff. But when it comes to colors and stuff like we already have a red one. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Can you recolor it? Oh, thank God. Okay. I was so uh, th That would have been so detrimental. Okay. So now yellow, orange, red, green, blue. So we need more colors. We don't, we don't need any more orange. Maybe fly around and see if we can find like a blue flower. Or even, even a white flower. Or both. Blue and white. Right next to each other. I don't know if those give different colors. I don't know. Do you give... So you give light gray. And you give light gray. Okay. Then we don't need you. And you give blue. We already have a blue one brother what is who who gave this man the microphone who gave this man the mic i don't think we're gonna find any other colors like just in flower form unless we find a flower forest so we're gonna have to we need three more colors oh <laughs> you thought didn't you you thought i was gonna run into the wall i know that like if we do blue and white then we can have a pretty cool color, but we would need some bones. Now, can we do any 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 quick trades for some bones? That is useless. That is useless. Okay, well, there's nothing there. Maybe there's uh, an orange bed. That oh, I really like that. No, we're not. No, we don't need that. We have so many beds. We don't need to steal from people. Stealing's not nice. Stealing is not nice. Oh, there is a flower forest. Okay, yo. Okay, let's go. I completely forgot there was one here, but I'll take it. Uh, we don't need the red, but we will take the pink. I, w I would love a pink shulker box. Thank you, good sir. Okay. Uh, do you give me purple or pink? I feel like purple. Magenta. Oh, I forgot there's magenta. Okay, and then who would give me pink? How can I grab a pink? I would need white and red, so we'll at least grab the red. Then we need to find a bone. Just uno bone. Wait, white and red make pink, and I just... Don't ask me. Is this white? White dye. We'll do a white shulker box. There we go. So now we have a nice plethora of shulker boxes, all of different colors. Beautiful, beautiful. Can we put them in rainbow order? So it'd be red. Um... <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Green. Yep. And white. Yep, there we go. Anyways, we need an ender chest system. So, uh, I know. I'm going to go right back there. I'm going to grab those ender pearls because we don't have any. And then we also need to get quite a bit of obsidian. So, inside of the ender chest or inside of one of the shulker boxes that contains the ender chest will be the hub, right? So, it'll have a silk touch diamond pickaxe, okay, if you're following me, which means we probably need to get some more levels as well. That would be wise so that we can enchant until we get Silk Touch. Because I don't believe we have like just a Silk Touch pickaxe. Um, I, don't, I don't think so, at least. Um, so, 
Also, we need to remove this. This is uh, an eyesore. Not that this isn't an eyesore. It's not. It's not the best. It's not the best. Okay, but it's it's, it's what we're working with. Are you really? What? Okay. What are you offering, brother? That is. I'll never understand it. We'll leave the boat there for memory's sake, but the rest of this stuff has just got to go. We don't. We don't need this in the middle of the ocean. Okay. And then I will fill in the hole later. But luckily, I know I'm not. I'm not gonna fall in that. <laughs> not falling for that trap. That's where we put a bucket of lava down to get a bucket of water. So that is one more obsidian closer to our goal. I want to have like a stack of 16 ender chests. I feel like that would be the best option, uh, just so that you know we never really have to worry about losing them. And there is a way to float down this again, but it's like the angle is really. It's you're you're just gonna end up smashing your head into the wall and you have to respawn. So I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna try that. I thought I made the, I was, I made the whole uh, you know this tall so that you could put stairs in here or fly down, but flying down is not an option, obviously. Um, I think it's just like one. I mean, I, I can look up the recipe. Ender chest. Oh, it's an eye of ender. Okay, well that's completely fine too because we have a ton of blaze. Okay, all right. I'm gonna fly home. I'm not gonna make you watch it. Oh, see? I mean, you can get, like, part of the way up, and it's like, everything's fine. You're, like, kind of, you know, your head's bouncing off the wall. Like, I don't know. I'll meet you at home. Also, just thinking of things as we're on the way home. We need a chest near where we spawn with just... Or we need, like, a little mini house, a little mini base with an ender chest. Only so that if we die and we don't have a bed placed, we can immediately grab an elytra, which I should have... I'm, I could use that elytra that we got for Lauren as like a temporary one and then just use that with her but because if you spawn at the world spawn you literally just like you have to walk for like five minutes and that's not fun like it's just not fun at all and one of the best things about I know I'm just all over the place one of the best things about beta 1.7.3 was the terrain generation of any of the early games had such incredible I do appreciate this terrain you know it looks realistic which is I mean, okay, I mean, it's realistic. That's pretty much the end of it. it beyond looking realistic, it's pretty much not great. Um, and there was, there's just really, really cool stuff that you just don't see anymore that I want to show you guys so bad. Like, it's so fun to walk around. You can't sprint in that game, right? There's no hunger. You heal with food that doesn't stack. So you have to have just absolute massive... Uh, inventory space for any amount of food, but it heals you instantly, so it's kind of, you know, it balances out, I suppose. Okay, so we have efficiency five. I almost say that we should set up, like, a little beacon, but I don't know. Do we have enough iron blocks? There's a good chance we do. If we do have the iron blocks, I remember they were in here. I don't know why they were in here, but this is where I had spotted them last, which doesn't mean a lot. I may have, I may have lost them since then. I don't know if that's enough iron for a full one or not. I, I honestly don't know. Um, but we'll see. I think you need gold to change it. Something like that. I also don't even know how to make a beacon. I think you need obsidian and glass. Which, I don't know. Actually, I don't think we have any glass in here. If we do, we just need a tiny little bit. Where would it even be in here? Yeah, see, we don't have any glass. Do we have any sand? I feel like if we did, it would have been smelted immediately into glass. So we'll, we'll, we'll go and grab some. Oh, there's two sand in here. I think you need more than two. Let's let's look up the recipe for the for the beacon, finally. Mm, we'll take this out. Do we remember which one? We'll, we'll, we'll name them at some point. We're not going to name them right now, but we will at some point. Yes, hello. I know you're so excited to see me. Uh, as I think it's just obsidian. That, yeah, glass. Okay, so we need a few more, you know, just pieces of glass. Just a couple of sprinkles of glass. Uh, but let's sleep real quick. Alright. Uh, unless we have... Where am I flying? Unless we have glass over at Lauren's house when we were making it. Which we very well might. I wish I had some silk touch. I'd just go grab a little, little bit of glass off the... Off those little 100 by 100 markers. Yeah. Yeah, we got we we got a little bit of glass. Okay, and then I I think you need gold to change it, which we do have some gold in 
I think it's this one. And yeah, we do have four gold. And I don't know if that's enough to change it. I don't know. But when we're down deep, wherever we're going to go try to get, might as well. We're going to need at least two water buckets. I had a bunch more. Actually, no, I have water buckets. What am I doing? Uh... Were they, they're probably in here. Yeah, we have a bunch of buckets. Okay. So we can just go find a large obsidian, well, a large lava pool that we can make into obsidian. Where that will be, I do not know. I know that there is a cave. I'm trying to think where the closest giant cave is. You know what? Sometimes we're just going to fly in a direction we don't explore too much, which is like over here. I feel like I have not really been over here. So we'll see what's over here. Maybe something cool. Well, so far, been flying, you know, 15 seconds or so. <laughs> so long. Not really a lot over here. I feel like we've found that village before. But we just need to find, like, a big cave. Wow. That's, uh, that's good timing. Two Endermen. Yes. Okay, very spooky. I love the new mine shaft so much. I know I, I talk about it a lot, but they're so nice looking. Um, does this go deep though? Like this is cool, but this is not at all helpful. Okay, there is a lot in here. Okay, I'm getting a bad vibe. <laughs> I want to go try to find a, a cave that goes straight into lava. Maybe this one over here. Is this a little something? No. We'll find something, man. And then we can get a bunch of obsidian. We can make an absolute ton of ender chests. Oh, there's a jungle in this direction. Oh, and is this a beach? Dude, this is a big old beach. Wow, yeah, it is a beach. Look at all the turtles. Oh, dude. Whoa, dude, what is, that's a shattered savannah. So this says, yeah, Minecraft Beach. This is huge, dude. That's actually really cool. If you want the coordinates of your plane on this seat, it's around here. Look at this shattered savanna, dude. I love them. I freaking love these things. And this is a tiny one, too. Not like a big one by any means. They're super useful for, like, finding iron and just, like, well, cool structures in general. Yeah, dude, that's, that's really cool. Let's see if there's any uh, any temples around here. No. We still haven't brushed anything. You know, with the new update where you can brush stuff. Dark Oak Forest. Good. And I just don't like... I can see if there's anything here. There's a little bit of obsidian, but I don't, I don't want to gather it real slow. Like Projectile Protection 4. I'll take some free obsidian. I will take that. That seems like a good deal. We also didn't go to the end and get enough XP. So hopefully 38 levels is enough to get us at least just a Silk Touch pickaxe. That's the only purpose. We just want Silk Touch and hopefully a little efficiency on it. I'm not too concerned. Efficiency 5 would be nice when we want to quickly get in there. Oh, hey, another one. Looks like you guys aren't too rare, huh? Any obsidian? No? That's cool. A mending shovel. Well, based on this, how this has gone so far, which is, I haven't found anything. Probably should have stuck with that cave that I got a bad vibe about, because, yeah, I mean, I just haven't, I haven't found anything. Sometimes, you take what you get. Is this going to be something? No, it's underwater. I have no, no, uh, desire to mine in a big underwater cave. And, like, I know there's caves everywhere. Like, let's fly up here. I bet we can find one. Really high up. And there's another abandoned portal. That looks very promising. Let's go check this out. Maybe there's something here. I love Elytra Flight, man. It's so nice. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Oh, some obsidian. I will definitely take that. Cool. I know. I could mine it at the portals, but again, I want to set up like a beacon and go crazy. Where was that ravine? Hello? Okay, right there. Oh, see, it's just not that deep. And I don't even know. I mean, yeah, there's a lava pool there, but I, I need like a couple of stacks of obsidian. Yeah, that's just not the kind of cave. Yeah. Not what I'm looking for. 
This looks promising. This looks promising. We should slow down a little bit. <laughs> we shouldn't. We shouldn't go in there that that fast. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. Creeper, yep. Okay. Let's uh let's let's walk it for now. Let's just walk it. Cause the deeper it goes, the higher the chance. Cause you know what I'm talking about, those like absolutely just ginormous caves with the mega lava pools. That is what I'm looking for. Will I find that just out of the blue? Eh, probably not, but... Oh, I thought I heard a creeper. Probably not, but you can always hope. This is a dead end? This better not be a dead end. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. Okay, we're going a little further down. Uh, um, okay, down we go. Here we go. I see some light. Oh, no. Oh no, how deep does this go? I mean, I have respiration like a decent amount. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay, well. That is something. I'll keep that in mind. That is something, but it's not what I'm looking for. Is this something? No, but I hear something. I mean, this is like decent, but I wonder how much obsidian is this really? I mean, this might be good enough. Oh, heck, dude. I think we're just going to have to take it. It is what it is. Okay, let's light this bad boy up so we don't get a, a surprise that we didn't ask for. And just to make sure there's no diamonds. Stuff like that. Never know at these levels. Lots of diamonds. Anything? Eh. No. Just going back to where we were. The disappointment lava. Are you gonna shoot me? How did you miss from point blank? Did you see that? Is that enough? Dude, there's something with me and spawners, man. Well, if you're near this area, the coordinates to this skeleton spawner are right there. Negative 338, negative 158. So if that interests you, a skeleton spawner with no... Wait. <laughs> Please tell me there's another spawner. Please tell me there's another spawner. I hear stuff so close. Oh, please, baby. Do you know how cool that would be? Is there something, like, right around here? I mean, they're walking up that way. Does that mean I can get to where I was digging going this? No? Interesting. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's sounding promising. Like, it sounds like there could totally be another spawner around here. Oh, this is so weird. We gotta investigate this. Is this where everything is? Oh, I hear more. Oh, dude. Oh, I hear him walking around on amethyst. So that maybe, maybe means there's like a cutoff geode that's not connected to the rest. Oh, okay, so it does connect just kind of in a roundabout way. Anything up here, maybe? I don't know. I, I just think double dungeons are so cool. I've already found a pair, but... Yeah, you know, maybe we want to make a base out here or something, or you want to make a base out here. Where is the dungeon? Okay, so where are we hearing the skeletons, then? I swear to God, they sound like they're straight in front of me. Oh, yeah. Dude, that, that is a geode for sure. You can hear him walking on it. Dude, is there a geode dungeon? Is that a thing? <laughs> a geode dungeon? Dude, there has to be something special up here. I can... I can... <gasps> oh, dude! I could tell... Look, 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 look. After you play this long, you hear... When you hear that many mobs of one type in a little area... Wait, no, no, kill the creeper! I want to music this! Oh. You're no fun, guys. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. oh, dude, that's crazy! A double dungeon, like, with close proximity. Not just, like, somewhat close, like, like, right there, right there. Like, I bet we could dig a staircase and go straight into the dungeon. I mean... Yeah, I know. I hate to break those two. A Geo Dungeon! Oh no! 
<laughs> we gotta we gotta put our armor on. We gotta put our armor on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, that makes me so happy. I don't know why. It makes me so happy. We have so much hold on. Oh, that's not that. I have got to just like hold on. I gotta I gotta put up some stuff. We gotta we <laughs> My inventory is getting a little a little a little crazy for me. Okay, we gotta eat and calm down for a second. I'm gonna take this iron up. We'll use like this to block it off. Okay, okay, okay. I see you guys. I see you. Yes, you're very angry. You're rightfully so. I'm invading your privacy. You guys had a nice dungeon all to yourselves, and now it's mine. Dual skelly dungeons is OP, dude. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a double double dungeon. Diamond horse armor, I will take that any day of the week. Another name tag, obviously. Everything else is kinda so so. So this dungeon is negative 356, negative 161. Dude, this is seriously like one of the rarest things. Like, I don't think this is a commonality. I just don't think this is like a, a thing that really happens. Dude, that's crazy. Okay, well, I gotta turn on the uh, Fulbright and I gotta get it. I gotta get a few screenshots of this bad boy. New desktop background for sure. Or at least the thumbnail or something, you know. Look at this, dude. What? That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. And you know, just for the thumbnail, nobody's got to know. But let's let's take these. Oh, let's take these chests, and let's put them right here and right here. And then, oh no 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 no! <laughs> no sir, we'll put the torch in the corner that way you can't see it. I don't think they'll they'll be able to spawn in here. And now we just gotta look. I'm taking you through the process, a little behind the scenes, a little behind the scenes. Maybe even up here, I don't know. But this, oh dude, that's just crazy. And we're not close enough to make it bubble. How close do you have to be to make it bubble? Like right here, can I go any further? No, here, here, no, here. Yeah, okay. We gotta build up a right here. Oh dude, that's cr I know I've said it like a million times, but that is actually insane. That is cool. And I think we can go even further with this, right? I, th I, th I think we can go even further with this. Is there a way we can get both dungeons inside of the screenshot? I'm thinking about the angle, and it's looking like we can, but we're going to have to drill through a little bit of the ground, which is okay. This is, this is what you got to do, man. This is what you got to do. So let me drill through this and see if we can get a nice, just rarest screenshot in the world. Double amethyst skeleton dungeon. Okay, we almost we almost got the angle right. I just want to go over it a little bit further. Uh, you can't lie, dude. These are so close that we could do a really nice spawner with these without having to do the, uh, the whole... Uh, you know, debacle of having the mine cart and then it's like... I don't know that that's that's never like nearly as cool to me having to have a mine cart and stuff. Also, this is where why our inventory is so garbage. We have all this stuff from there that we didn't want. All these things that we have so many of that we 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 don't need. We don't we just don't need them. Okay. Look at this. Look at this two dungeons within within this view is just crazy dude and then look we could go in here with the calcite make it look a little pretty yeah dude we could go in with a little bit of amethyst make it look cool see look at that man look at that something like that yeah give it a little bit of shimmer a little bit of shine and then boom there we go. Okay, now how do you get a screenshot like this, you ask? Great skill. Not really, just kinda. Oh, dude, that's, that's so cool. That is seriously so cool. I don't even know if anyone will notice it, you know, with, with the other dungeon way up there in the corner. I don't know. <laughs> let, let, me, let me get like a bunch of angles and then I'll come back because I don't want to make you guys watch this anymore. But you'll see it on the thumbnail. Oh, dude, it, it seriously makes me want to come live here, like, so bad. <laughs> you, know, you know how fun that would be to live in a geode with double dungeons right next to you, and, like, you have this nice little base in here, 
And then you can watch the two skeleton spawners work with... I still hear a bunch of stuff. And I don't know if it's just these guys. And there was like a bunch down here. I hear a bat. Is that bat in here? Or is there more to this? I mean, I don't hear any other monster spawns. That's why I'm trying to like stand around here, you know, and... I'm really paying attention right now just because... Triple dungeons are... Oh. Okay. I think we have enough screenshots. <laughs> I, I think, I think, I think we're done with the screenshots. I, I don't remember how to get out of here. I'll just take a double dungeon with Amethyst. To be honest with you guys, I still literally, I am in disbelief that I found this. This is absolutely nuts. Like, that's just, that's nuts. Okay, so we need to save these cords. Um, negative 347, negative 158. Negative 347, negative 158. And then we'll, I, I don't know the why, but like, we should probably put it in there. So negative 40. Just in case we ever need these cords. So put those in the comments, dude. That's the secret code for today's i'm just kidding <laughs> we're not gonna do coordinates but i don't remember how we got in here i don't know if it was uh was it like this is this how we got in here i i know we'd found this path at some point is there anything over here dude i'm just like I i'm keeping the hope open for triple dungeons dude triple dungeons would be but it, it, if it was like any further than this then it's not really it's not really like I don't know. It's not really viable, but that's okay. Maybe we could like strip mine around here. It probably would be worth it. We have all this stuff for. Oh, oh, dude, my heart stopped. I thought I found another beacon or, or another dungeon. I say we could we, we could put the beacon down. Okay, yes, it was over here. Okay, I was remembering this right. Do we have this? We'll put that down. Is this just connected over here? Okay, so there's really nothing. I do hear water. I do hear water. This is going to try to kill me, so let's just let that attempt death. Any dungeons hiding up here? I thought not. Just a bunch of nothing up here. We'll just block off that water flow. I'm serious, dude. I'm searching every ounce of this cave for more. The luck is unreal. The luck is unreal. Okay. So is this where we were going to... Yeah, so this is where we were going to originally... Um, mine the lava. I'm just going to light this thing up because I want to make sure I know... Oh, I thought I saw. Okay, is that a pack of zombies or is that another spawner? I think this is just a pack. I don't think they can spawn as a zombie villager, but it's worth it's worth a little investigation. Mm, that's just a pack spawn. Just a pack spawn. And we're already out of torches. Oh, I want to keep exploring you so bad, dude. I just have a, I have a good feeling about this place. I have a good feeling about this place. How do we get back down to where our lava is? Not down there. And I don't think I brought that coal with me. But remember, I did have some coal. Oh, yeah, Lord knows we don't need any more of that. Um, did I put some? Oh, I brought it with me. I love you, best self. I don't have any wood. No. The wood strikes again. Do I really not have any? I thought I had some of those jungle. Some of that jungle. No. Oh, that's a. Is, is there any chance there's some in here? No, dude. That's a fumble on my part. Okay. Well. I guess we'll we'll pack our bags, take our luck, and not look it too closely. It was always a pipe dream, the triple dungeons. I think we've had... What is the most dungeons I've had? Is it... <gasps> what? Where's our torches? I need torches! I need to... There's no way! Really? We'd already been right here! We've already been right here! There's already torches here! How do we walk right by a dungeon? Aw, oh, dude. Aw, oh, dude. Aw, oh, dude, it's happening. Triple dungeon. Let's go. I feel like we've had a triple dungeon spawner before. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say I feel like I've had a triple dungeon I always do this just to I feel like we've had a triple dungeon spawner before. How far away is this from our there's a water a water source in here. That's strange. Can we can we sure Okay, so there's another so this is negative okay, so the, what are the coordinates? Negative 347. Oh dude, this is workable. I mean, yeah, it's, it, it would require a minecart, but a triple dungeon spawner would probably outpace... I don't know if it outpaced an Enderman spawner, but... We might be able to get close. Oh, dude, I need wood. Like, so bad. Okay, I'll make sure I don't miss this. Okay, I built a little, I built a little dumb there, because I was, I was scared. Um... There we go. We should have enough to finish this. And then, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay. Okay, I need to find where where are the other dungeons? Or at least where are the other... Where were they? Okay, they're right. Wait. So I can see both the spawners there, and then I can see that spawner there. Dude, terrible dungeons! I get so distracted. Okay, we have got to make like an entrance to this exact area. I'm making a staircase to here. I'm calling this a second base, dude. This is crazy. We still need to get a bunch of lava and stuff. I was serious about that. But I'm gonna make like, for now, I'm just gonna make like a single wide staircase. I'll do proper ceiling height and everything. It's gonna be really dark, so I'm not gonna film it. But whenever I get back up, I'll let you know, because we got to get some wood, and then we'll come immediately back down. And we got to keep looking, dude. The, 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 the fact that I ran by this, you guys are probably screaming at me, Neo, there's another one. Because, yeah, this is where it connects on the back side. Why do I hear skeletons? Oh, I got to let my dog outside, but hold on. Oh, never mind. I thought she was whining by the door. She's really good about about potty training and stuff. Dude, this is like right above you. Is there another dungeon? Please don't do me like this. Wait. Where is this? Is there's a little cave right here. I can't like light anything up. This is so aggravating. Okay. That's just like Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for helping me clear that out. Oh, this is at the top of that gravel. Okay. Is there anything down? I know it's hard to see. I won't be in here long. I just, I have to know. Is there a quad dungeon? If we could hit quad dungeons, dude, I would... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. I don't think I could do anything too crazy, but... Quad dungeons would be a dream. Okay, I'm gonna make that staircase back up. I'll come back when I have some wood. I was curious. I looked it up. The most we've ever had is a triple dungeon farm. Um, and that was in my 1.18 hardcore let's play. If we can beat a triple dungeon farm, dude, I will absolutely scream. Do you know the reality of finding three dungeons this close is like super, super rare. And the fact that we went in a completely random cave while flying around looking for some obsidian is even wilder. This has changed the course of the entire Let's Play. We may start living underground. We may start living underground. Ooh, I don't know. Does that sound exciting to you guys? It's exciting me, so uh, maybe maybe we should just do it. I can't see, and it's so aggravating. I'm going to take uh, this, this torch right here just so I can plop it in my offhand just so I can see because it's... It's hard to it's hard to mine. It gets to you, man, when you can't see. And I'm you know what? I'm I'm just going to do I'm just going to do a staircase. Let's get up here. I gotta go get wood, dude. I got I gotta continue this. Okay, okay, okay. We hit a cave. We hit a cave. We're staircasing up, we hit a cave. I don't know why, I'm just like expecting to find another dungeon, but please, please, please. Okay, so apparently we've been here. Odd. And now I did get down here with an elytra. I'm just afraid I'm gonna lose it if I don't make a direct path. Oh, dude, I wanna. Oh, I got. I gotta wait till I have torches to explore. We gotta light this thing up because I wanna. I wanna cover every ounce of this whole cave, dude. I keep getting distracted. We gotta. We gotta focus up. Right, we're gonna hit this lava army. Right? Uh, a little closer comfort. I don't think we'd necessarily hit it, but I don't really wanna play around with lava. 
I'm impatient, dude. We're doing. We're, I'll make it. A, I'll make it a hole, a straight up hole, and we'll we'll fill it with ladders. I'm, I I can't. I can't wait any longer, dude. I. Uh, okay, based on the fact that I've been suffocated by gravel four times, this has to be the surface. And it's dark. And it's dark. Okay. Okay, I gotta let my dog outside, but I am so confused. I thought we were way further from our house, but that's the CBC SOG right there. Am I tripping or is... Hold on. Oh, I gotta... Hold on. I'm turning my mic on before I even sit down, dude, because I gotta figure this out. What is going on? I am so confused. I thought we were way further away from home. I need to... I need to figure this out, dude. So th which side of the CBC SOG is this is the back side? Wait, that's where we were? What? Cause that's the What? Dude, I'm so confused. We could just fly back home. At any point we would be underground, but we'd have like a we could like make a we could like have a minecart or like a tunnel system linking this to there and like Hold on, dude. I just I'm just like Oh dude, I'm just oh we have triple dungeons. We didn't beat the record, but we're at the record, and that's exciting. I've got a. <laughs> I wish I I wish I knew where that meme was, dude. I'd play that right now. The uh, I just I I can't contain it anymore, and it's like <laughs> it's like some jingle place. Um, oh, dude. Oh, and I know actually I know where we have a ton of wood, like completely hidden. Hey, you can hear Hazel barking at cats. Very exciting. The cats just like sit there and watch her bark. She doesn't like attack them or anything. She just barks. And uh, we try to tell her no. Dude, look at all the wood we had in here. Wouldn't you know it. Wouldn't you know it. I'm gonna have to go tell her to quit barking at. I think it's Odie. I think she's barking at Odie. I don't, oh. I don't think we need this many. Yeah, that, that'll, yeah. That'll be okay. Um, oh, oh, don't worry. I'm gonna put them up. I'm just gonna leave them on the ground. Hold on. Okay, maybe you'll hear her play with the toy in here, but that's okay. Maybe you'll hear a few squeaks, but that's okay. All right. I've got to figure out what's going on, because I am I am at the point... Oh, I love the cat music disc, but I think we already have them. But maybe we'll maybe we'll put some tunes in here for Lauren. Yeah, we'll leave some tunes in here. We're gonna need a lot of glass, dude. Because I, I want I want a big room where you can see all of these spawners and then like tunnels in the walls where you can see them traveling. Ah, dude, I just have so many ideas. I have so many ideas. And then with the auto crafters coming out, we can do so much with that. I love this area. I, I do, but like, I don't know. I'm feeling a change, man. I'm feeling a change coming. So our house is right here, right? And I'm pretty sure, because I guess I was flying back in this direction. I just didn't realize it. It is right there. That's where, yeah, it's like right, so where did we fly in? Because I know it was on like the side of a hill. Oh, yeah, we really did just like literally fly in. Where did we fly in? Yes, it was this. I said, this looks promising. And then I went, yeah, straight in there with the dripstone. Okay, cool. Dude, I'm like, I'm like almost like shaking, dude. This is so close to our base. This would be nice to have an underground base, because we have to go get a bunch of materials and stuff. I don't want to, like, start over underground or anything. But for now, I know it's a little bit ugly, but I'm going to leave this. And then I am going to ladderify this thing. So I'm not going to make you watch this. It's going to be a long process. But it'll be very, very worth it, so we can go quickly up and down. I will see you guys in just a bit. Actually, we can dig it all the way down and then do it while we're going up. That makes it easier, I think. Yeah, rather than trying to, like, you know... This is kind of a pain to do. Okay, now before we go back down... How did that torch get... I was like watching this torch and it was like freaking out going up the ladder with me. I could not figure out how it was working. Uh, we don't need 16 bones. We don't need some flint. Uh, oh, we have so many things. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll organize them in a bit. I just... I need to... I need to... It helps clear my mind to have like a clear inventory. We don't need that. Uh, what we need is some stuff sticks so that we can make torches we need uh <laughs> yeah we need eight logs worth i mean i was on the right track but i i wasn't okay there we go 
Uh, 16 is a stack. Okay. Uh, boom. What? <laughs> what? I looked for a second. I was like, I was like, no, there's not a creeper. It's you saw that go right through it, right? It, you saw that. I was like, what? <laughs> Could not. I can't right now, dude. My brain's still so scrambled. I'm, 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 I'm in dungeon hunting mode. If we can find a fourth. Then we need to go in the record books or something. I don't know if how many like four dungeon spawners there ever has been. Like, not even like a you know a silly thing. I really I I don't think there's been any quadruple dungeon spawners. I mean, probably like right like the game's been out 15 years. I'm sure there is one, but there's not a lot. And if there are, they're not like this where I just found them in survival. It's people who are in creative going in caves or whatever. And I don't think. I don't think that those people found them legit like this. That makes it special. Anyone could go in a world and just go underground and fly around for a while and find some. But even finding, like, I, I don't know the odds. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to b pretend I'm, like, some math guy or something. I'm still pretty certain that it's still really rare. Let's just light this up. I could, you know, like, do something with it. But if we're going to live around here, I do want to have some things just kind of lit up. So I don't have to deal with this hearing mobs and whatnot all through the night oh a little spoder stuck on the ceiling we'll just leave you there buddy i'm not gonna bother you you ain't hurting nobody in there in the corner here i'll even help you get unstuck there you go no you you chase me but i'm not gonna hurt you uh everyone tells me spiders are good i i actually don't really mind spiders like if i see a spider in the house or a grass spider i'll either help it get outside or just leave it I will, however, not tolerate, like, fiddlebacks, stuff like that, because we have a lot of those in Oklahoma. Brown recluse, they will, uh, they'll hurt you quite a bit, and they bite. Um, so, I do not, okay, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna fault you for it, Mr. Creeper, but I'm also gonna be a little, uh, disappointed if that's how you choose to kill me in a cheap attack like that. Okay, wait, is this the same kick? brother <laughs> I, was, I thought i had encountered two caves so i guess i just didn't look long enough to notice that this is the same cave ah oh, classic 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 me classic me okay and then just a few torches in here okay there's another cave we already been down in here again we're gonna light up the whole thing we have a lot of i almost said charcoal we have a lot of coal and I'm going to light up the whole thing. This was a path that led off here. And we need to find out what's here. Even if it's just like a little lava pool and nothing. Um, looks like just a lava pool of nothing. It's going to be one of these. It's going to have something nice in it, isn't it? <laughs> it's like right at the end of this is like five more dungeons. Six more dungeons. Seven more dungeons. Oh. It's turned into so much more. It really did. I'm just trying to make sure. I know it doesn't have to be like really lit up, but I also just kind of like having it nice and lit up. Oh, dude, my my, my stomach. I, I I just got that feeling in my stomach because you know seeing all these. I'm pretty sure I can stand in one spot and be able to see. Yeah, look at that. Count them on the screen. One, two, three, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get eight. Okay, now for the actual exciting part. Is there anything else around here? Uh, this was the original obsidian that we were going to mine. And then this links back over here. So I want to figure out at what point did I run right by this? That's kind of what I want to know. Like at what point also, just because I'm going to have to do it anyways and I'm thinking about it now, I'm just going to swap that out. Um, that's also a thing in the earlier versions, your inventory did not get nearly as full. There was only like cobblestone underground. So at what point did we run by it? So we ran up in here. We ran into here. So how did we run right by it? What? Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't. But at some point we did. Okay. Was there anything down here? No. This is just like... I, I could just block this off. We'll leave it open for now just so that we know we've been in it. We've been up in here. Yeah. This is where the gravel is. Then this leads back down. I'm trying to get a good lay of the land. So let's go back to where we were mining obsidian. Because that was like a decent sized cave. Sort of. Ish. 
Okay, so that's the one we said we'd go explore. That's where our path is. And then over here is where the lava is. I don't know. Well, we might as well go this path. Okay. I mean, any of these, if we find something over here, it's a little bit far, I will admit. But I'd be willing to link it up to a triple. I think that would be just, that would be really cool. We're going to need to get more coal out soon. Okay. Yeah, this, this is definitely a little far. I still, again, I want to light it all up just to make sure we're good. Don't need any uh, home invasions if we do decide to live down in here. Okay, this goes down. I don't really want to go down there right now. I'm trying to do like a radial search and like a circle around this area. Just one more and we can beat the record. Just one more and we can beat the record. That's all I'm asking for. Not a lot. I mean, four dungeons is asking for a lot, I guess, but not a lot, not a lot. This is where I said I didn't want to go down, and it kind of connects. We might as well. Is that diamond? No, this stuff always tricks me. If I run by it really fast, because, you know, I'm trained to look for a little bit of blue. Yeah, that's obsidian. I might regret not going down there, but I'm not going to go any further. That's just chasing, uh, is it chasing rabbit holes? No. Going down a rabbit hole? What is it called? Chasing something. I know there's a saying, okay? <laughs> I always mess them up. I always, I always make them my own. There's nothing in here. Now, usually I wouldn't film just running around a cave randomly, but this is like one of those things again where I just can't. <laughs> my brain's still a little, still feeling a little crazy. Okay, a diamond, I'll take that. Take that, just a one. Yep, just a one, okay. Surprised we haven't found more because we've been exploring a lot of low bearing caves. And we've just found, looks like our first diamond. Did we find more? Okay, so this one also fizzles out into just a little, that doesn't look like a continuation node or whatever. Been playing a little uh, Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> Have you guys ever played that? It's kind of fun, you know, Rock and Stone, Brothers Rock and Stone. You basically mine for a company and it's kind of cool. It's, it's an interesting game. It's not like Minecraft, not like, don't, don't think it's like Minecraft. Okay, so this connects up to here. What the heck is this? Okay. Just a creeper's a creeper's house. We we just literally just infiltrated. You guys maybe do that. You maybe go up to there. He was probably changing clothes, putting on some new boots for his little feet. Doing something. Um uh, gonna have to get more coal out soon. Yeah, I don't know. I wanna go find that original lava pool with the obsidian. Because I know there's a cave connected to that near it. But I don't know if that is so far away that it would be pointless that we go that direction. But I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna turn. To, I'm not gonna turn my nose away from anything. I'm uh I'm trying to sniff out as many dungeons as I can find. Oh, dude, this is such a big, big area. Might be something up there, but I don't know. We'll <laughs> we'll chase that one later. So where is the original lava pool? That's like my big question. I know I don't think it's this direction. No, this is down in that hole. The original lava pool. Is it in here? You know what I'm talking about. The place where I was going to originally just set up camp and do some mining. Where in the world is that? Okay, so there is. What? Okay, okay, rain it in, rain it in, rain it in. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I'm like zooming in in there. I'm looking for the lava pool and I see back in there. I'm like, unless we've gone back in there and built cobblestone. <laughs> what? Unless we, unless we went back down in there. Dude, I can't. Oh, yes, Hazel, I know. You're a good puppy. Dude, I... Where is this, though? Like, I... Okay, so... Oh, no, no, no. I got, I got, to, I got to write the coordinates down. Where is... Okay, so is this my original lava pool? Is this what I was talking about? No. Y yes. And the dungeons are over up in there-ish? I need to, I need to, 
I need to break this out bigger. Okay. Okay. Before we do something we regret, let's... Okay. Okay. There's a little bit more over here. Okay. I'm just... I, I know. We'll, we'll go check it in a second, but I need to, like, know where everything is. Where are the dungeons? Okay, so there's a dungeon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice little through port right here because I can't like in my head visualize where all this is. I don't know if these are too far away. Either way, finding four in like one video is, is absolutely crazy, but I've never found four dungeons this close. And I don't like, I don't think that's a common thing. Okay. So there's, you can see that you can see that right there, man, having a beacon would be killer for this. We will have to put one down before we go crazy on this. And we, we're going to have to get mending on the pickaxe too. Like I, I, I can't, I can't. Okay, and then the other dungeons are over here. Yes, okay. And then, so this would be down here just a little bit. Like this, okay. And maybe there's a way, yeah, I'll, I'll drill this out. I just, 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 just give me a second, just give me a second. I just, I have to visualize. Okay, so I'm breaking this wall out here just because... What? Barking at a kitty for sure. It the reason I I have to be able to see what I'm what I'm what I'm dealing with here. Okay, so we come up here from our lava pool, right? And there is oh, hold on, hold on. This is just this is just bugging me out. I've gotta I've I've gotta make some sort of staircase. It, it's just it's bugging me only because I can't like see this all at once. So hold on. Okay, so the thoughts going through my head right now. We've broken a record. Okay, we've broken a personal record. Do we move our operation down here? You got to put it in the con. You, I, I think I'm going to, but I want to make sure, like, as long as you guys aren't super, like, opposed to the idea, like, I really want to. Let me put that out there. Usually I wouldn't, you know, seed the, the question like that and, and, you know, say what I already want, but... I really think it is in our best interest to move down here. Why? I mean, the XP and stuff, but you know how cool it is to have like glass walls you know, with the tinted glass where you, you can see all of these dungeons in one big room and then like have all your operations and have like, we're basically going to live in a factory. Kind of. Not not really, but when we have auto crafters, which should be somewhat soon. Um, okay. So you, you, you can't exactly like... Hold on. I do realize the beacon has to reach to the sky, I think. So it's good that we have that, that little ladder. Um, we can just break those blocks um, up above it. Okay. So we have like a... There's like a thin wall here. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So I just... I'm, I'm just trying to make this more open so that I can like... Mm, oh, I'm not going to break that right now. We'll do that when we have a beacon. So one dungeon two dungeons and then we still have not looked at potentially the fourth dungeon so let's go check that out let's go check that out now let's see okay nothing in there i'm i'm, I'm literally I, oh wait how far away is this fourth dungeon it's straight down there i i, I hesitate to go look at it because i'm almost afraid that i'm not gonna find a dungeon and then it's going to be some lava cast and and something like and also the big question is what kind of dungeon quad skelly dungeons would just be wild zombie dungeons are for the most part useless uh we haven't gone down that way wait is that no okay we haven't gone down that way and i don't want to mark it like we have been I only want to do that when we've actually been down there why is there so many okay it looks like probably dungeon Probably a creeper dungeon. You know what's cool is with uh with the Optifine you can shoot. Yeah, it's a dungeon. Yeah, it's just a dungeon. Ooh, I didn't want to get my hopes up. I didn't want to get my hopes up. I didn't want to get my hopes up. Ah, oh, zombie. It's okay. It's okay. Third name tag. Third name tag. I have a spot in one of my shulker boxes, but I don't. I don't know where that is. Okay. Third dungeon. How far away is this one? Negative 347, so 20 in the X direction, and then 40, which that's a decent amount, but with a rail car, you can do it. 
So with a rail car, you can do it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious. Like, so it's more in 347, a little bit over in that direction. And then negative 158 would be just in this direction. Negative 347 would be, so it's like over here, like to the left. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a tunnel from this one just until we hit something over here. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I need to, I need to get that. So negative, negative 158. So we need to dig till at least negative 158 and then we'll be on the right, like Z axis, so negative 158. We can do that pretty quickly. I don't want to make like a big tunnel. I, I, I want to like see it in game because I can like do coordinates all which ways and whatnot. We have to account for the Y change too. So that's at negative 40. Oh, that's at negative 40. And this one's at negative 42. Right? Yeah, we're on the same level. And this one's at negative 42. So they're really close. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, I just can't. Oh, I just can't. So negative 158. Okay, so a little bit further. Little tiny, tiny bit further. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're definitely getting somewhere. So this, it's just like a little bit down, I guess. No, it's, it's actually not. It's technically right there, right? Well, it's right there. Okay. I know where to go. I know where to go. We'll look down over here a little bit. Just so that we just can like access them all at once to see if this would be a viable solution. Let's see. Okay. So, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not going crazy. One dungeon, two, three dungeons, right? And then over in this direction, supposedly a fourth dungeon. <sighs> we just got to check. Just for... <gasps> Show the viewers how good you are. Sit. Sit. Can you sit? No, sit. Sit. She won't do it. She knows you're watching. She won't do it. But okay, good girl. Can you bark? Hazel, bark. Oh, good girl. So she already knows sit, lay down, bark, and shake. She knows sit, lay down, bark, shake. Sit, lay down, bark, shake. Sit, lay down, bark, shake. Say all the words that just confuse the heck out of her. Oh my god, what? I have to I, I like can't look at my screen because I, I don't believe it's real. I okay, I, I got her hyped up. I gotta pet her for a second or she's gonna go. <laughs> I mean I I was like, just for posterity's sake, you know, just, just because I can't not look down the hole. Five dungeons, dude. I we're moving down here. We're moving down here. Also, Hazel. Hazel. Hazel, calm down, baby. Puppies don't calm down. You do gotta scooch for a second. Ah, I know she's gonna get mad. No, we don't bite. No, we don't bite. Hold on, I, I, I gotta deal with it. No, do not bite my headphone cord. Hold on, hold on, I'll be right back. I, I'll pause it too. Okay, she's walking away. Okay, let's go look at it. <gasps> what, what kind, what kind, what kind? Zombie, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna push my luck. I'm five dungeons! <laughs> Dude, I literally screamed like a little girl. I screamed. I didn't even know my voice could go that high. Like, check this out. Ah, ah, ah. I, I can't. It won't go any higher. Hold on. Ah, ah, ah. That's as high as it'll go. If you replay that clip, I'm pretty sure that was even higher. Like that. I can't like. Ah. Oh, I can't go any higher. I know you're like, dude, what are you doing? One, you want to know what I'm doing? 
Where's the... Oh, we ran right by it. <laughs> I was trying to... I was trying to count it. I was trying to count it. Hold on. Yeah, get out of here, dude. One. Two. Th three. Four. Five. Five dungeons. Five dungeons within walking distance of one another. Five dungeons. I know even Hazel's excited. Dude, my head hurts. I like scream so loud. Dude, I gotta go watch that clip back. I cannot believe. And a giant cave. <laughs> we could have a wall to this cave underground. We could have a wall to this cave underground. And we have all the obsidian we're ever gonna need. Oh, I gotta calm down. <laughs> oh, I love big caves. I love dungeons. And I especially love seeing five dungeons. Oh, okay. Oh, I do hear it. I do hear a zombie in the wall. <laughs> Can we get six dungeons? I'm just kidding. No, we can't get six. We're not going to push our luck with five <gasps> What? 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 Kill me. Just kill me. What? 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 Dude, I can't. I can't. I can't. You don't do any damage to me. I can't. What are the chances? <laughs> my windscreen. I, I knocked my... I hit my windscreen like full speed. Like I, my poor mic is probably just destroyed. Can you stop ruining the... Oh my... I'm, try I'm just trying to look to see if there's even more. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you've heard Hazel barking. She's very hyped and, and, you know, dad's over here working. Can't give her any attention. But she's barking at them kitties anyways. She, she just sits there. She literally barks. I think... Oh, she's zooming full speed. Okay, let's put my windscreen back. Okay. Okay. Let's... Hold on. Let's reconvene. Okay, well, first of all, do we have anything? Anything, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, need, I, need, I need a little snack after that. Anything in there? I'm just, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking for that sixth. I'm looking for that seventh. How many is this? Oh, 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 this, this, this will mark the occasion. This is the start of an era. This is the start of an era. This is the start of an era. Dude, I, one, one, okay. It's definitely too far away, but <laughs> it's still cool. So we have one dungeon. Two a dungeon. And we're not letting anything happen. We are not risking that. Two dungeons. <laughs> Three dungeons. <laughs> what is going on? Four dungeons, five dungeons, six dungeons. We have found six dungeons within walking distance of one another. Uh, <laughs> my brain literally shut down. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. My brain literally shut down. Oh, wait, where, where am I going? Oh, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we need to mark this out with something special. That way we know this is the staircase. Okay. My my brain my brain literally shut down when I saw the the fourth one. Or wait, the fifth the fifth the fifth one, right? Yeah, this is this is five that we can make into a single spawner for sure. These are close enough. But the sixth one? The sixth one. I mean, can we go for a seventh one? <laughs> can we can we go for a seventh one? Hazel seems to think so. I don't know. I mean, that's definitely a stretch. Do they have like infinite Y visibility? Because he looked at me from way the heck up there. Oh, you want to taste your own medicine? 
Yeah, you, you don't like that, do you, buddy? Oh, <clears throat> my throat hurts. My head hurts because I screamed so loud. My, I, 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 I just, I need a little bit. Also, aren't there supposed to be big coal veins, right? I thought I just saw more. Are there supposed to be big coal veins? I thought, no, it's just copper and iron. A big coal vein would be super cool, though. Oh, dude, come on. Give me a seven. I'm, like, looking around, scanning with my... <gasps> what? I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't play this game anymore. I have done too many things. I'm... I'm... I'm going to die. I found seven dungeons. I... Can we go for an eighth? We're not stopping. We're not stopping the hype here. We're just going. We're just going. Can we go for an eighth? I am 100% serious. We're not stopping. If we link all these up, dude, that's that's got to be a record, right? Like, that's got to be a record, right? That's got to be a record, right? Okay, I got to go see what she's barking at. Hold on. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I Okay. Okay. She was just barking. Barking at a kitty. Um... <clears throat> Dude, my, my head hurts so bad. I am, like, the, the tension I feel. Because, like, I want to scream even louder, but, like, I don't want to hurt you guys' ears. But I'm pretty sure I already did. But I, I think that's okay. I think that's warranted in this case. I, I don't even know. Is this seven? Is this seven or six? Is it, is it seven? I think we found the quad, and then we found the fifth, and we found the sixth, and then the seventh. Where is the seventh? I, I don't remember. It's back there, but we... We got it. We got to keep going, dude. This this is the cave. Yeah, you might have to hear some squeaks, but it's better than a bark. I hear I hear a skeleton like really close. I mean, I only hear one. Maybe there's something, I don't know. I mean, that's that's the one we just found. <clears throat> oh, there's oh, it's these guys. These guys, huh? Okay. Okay, now before you spawn anymore, good sir, what do you have for me? The, the occasion is here. We have to consume another gold nap. I mean, why would we not? Dude, I'm literally, I'm literally, I, 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 where is this one? I think this one's too far away, right? No, this one's only 40 blocks away, too. Wait, what? Okay. Rain it in. Rain it in. We have found a lot of diamonds now, though. We have found... We have, we have 10. I mean, that's not a lot, but we, that, that, that's that's a good bit when you're lo not looking for them. We came here to get obsidian. Two! Two skeletons, dude. They don't they don't spawn very often with two. Oh, okay. I thought it was another dungeon. I mean, hey, I'm a little bit primed to think every time I hear a mob now, it's just a dungeon. Okay, she does need to go outside now. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to take Hazel out to go for a walk. Hopefully she'll calm down a little bit. I watched that clip back of, of me screaming. I think I was somewhere around here. I, I don't even... I, I, don't, I don't... I don't... I don't... I know I sound like I'm going crazy, but I'm literally going crazy. What is this? Oh, I was looking for a skeleton in here. Remember, I guess I dug. I, I don't know. Okay. We need to write down the coordinates. Oh, do I not? Oh, because I logged out. I don't have the chat. Um, I need to write down all of the coordinates of these because otherwise they're going to be lost. Um, I mean, not they won't really be lost, but like, ah, oh, there's no way I'm going to like... I don't know. So I guess this will be number six, and then you know we'll 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 just call this seven. So F three, then talk. Number seven is negative three sixty three, negative forty eight, negative one one three. So that's number seven, okay? And then number six is gonna be the one. If we find an eighth, dude, I I I don't I don't I don't. I don't know. Obviously, this one and the other one are t probably too far away, but we can still have them be in our base and, like, look at them and just be like, what the heck went on here? <laughs> like, what actually went on here where this dude found seven dungeons? Nice. 
seven dungeons. Like, what the heck is... We got like a little war going on over here. Yeah, you guys want a little piece of my... A little piece of my uh, business income about to be happening with these seven dungeons. I hope this... I hope this episode gets a lot of views. I mean, I know this is like... I mean... I'm, if this wasn't in like an episode one or something, this would have went viral. I don't think... I don't think anyone's ever found seven dungeons legitimately in one small-ish area. I mean, it's not the smallest area, but it, it's... Gosh, dude, there's a lot of mobs in here. I mean, I have to light all this up. I don't think we really don't have that much more coal. Uh, before we get any further, though, we're going to start to drop some stuff just so I can make... What in the world? That's why we didn't have any inventory room. I had my logs all strung about like... Uh, should be... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Just give me torches or give me death. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I'd like to get up there and light that up, but, like, I'm not... I don't have the patience right now. I'm, I'm still mildly freaked out in, like, a good, very, very good way. I know that's kind of discombobulating. I'm sorry. I just, I need to... I need to not die, basically. And I need to get these diamonds. 16 easy diamonds, baby. 16 easy diamonds. My throat actually hurts. I, watching that clip back of me screaming was so funny. I literally got a Discord call with the people I've been talking to a lot. I showed them and they were like, what? <laughs> they didn't seem to be as excited. But like, I am very excited. Put it lightly. Okay. So... Let's go a little further in here. Obviously, if if there's any, like, further... Oh, my gosh, dude. Is there... You know what I mean? Like, I mean... You know what I mean? I Nothing's out of the question anymore. Nothing, nothing is out of the question anymore. You hear that? That's one... Come on, Neo. It's one zombie. It's one zombie, but it could be more, but it's, it is just one zombie. There's nothing there. And a baby. Babies don't, I don't think, spawn from dungeons. Oh, but I've just got to look. I've just got to look. This has been the greatest caving experience I've ever had. Like, bar none. Greatest. Easily. Easily. Okay. We'll go a little bit further in here, and I thought, I dude, I keep seeing dungeons now. I just thought that was a dungeon. I just, I just see them. I see them in my dreams. All I can see is that mossy cobble among the sea of deep slate. Really? <coughs> Curse you and your tiny hitbox. Why must you make it so hard to slay you? Okay, I hear a dog doing something. I don't think they should be doing. What they're doing, I'm really not sure. I've got I've got to go check. Hold on. And they were roommates. So I, I like went over there trying to figure out what she's doing. She's dragging her whole, so her food and water bowl are on like a little silicone mat. She's like dragging the whole mat with everything on it, trying to take it to my office because she needed some food. <laughs> so I put some food in her bowl. Because she graze feeds, so I don't like feed her at one time. Yeah, I mean, regardless of what's in here. Oh, and like you guys don't know what's really going on in my life. So for the last, maybe like a month or two before we got Hazel. Um, I started, like, realizing that I need to take my health seriously because of what's been going on. I haven't really, I feel like I haven't really told you guys. I mean, there's someone in my family, I just, just for privacy's sake, guys, I'm just not going to talk about it. But someone in my life has stage four kidney cancer. And they're, I, I, we don't, we don't know how it's going to go. But when you catch cancer at stage four... He, there's there's not a good chance of survival. Like, there's just not. Even with modern medicine. I gotta go see what she's barking. Hold on. Okay. 
Yeah, and I was thinking about it. Like, I'll just tell you guys, it's 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 my dad. So we all hope that we'll be a little bit older, you know, before we lose a parent. And I, I he's still here. I mean, he's you know he's fighting it, but. You know, when, when they find stage four cancer, it's not really, you can fight it. There's, there's a, there's a chance and I'm, I'm holding on to that chance, but you know, I love my dad very, very much. And I've always really looked up to him, always really wanted to be like him. And, you know, I'm very lucky to have had any amount of time at all with him. Like I really am lucky. Like I'll never, I'll never take that for granted. I was very blessed with two very, very good parents. I had an incredible dad, an incredible mother, and I know some people never get to have that. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm counting my, uh, what is it? Counting your lucky stars? I don't even know if that, I don't even know if that applies here, but yeah. So if things have been off for, you know, the last four or five months, that was pretty hard to hear. And I know it was hard for him to tell us, but I don't know. So yeah, that's what's going on. So if I ever go away for a little bit, it's probably, you know, so. All right. Well, enough about that. Enough about that. I do hear just an absolute ton of mobs near us. I'm not trying to kill the vibe. I'm still excited that we found all these spawners and stuff. But, like, dude. Okay, so we found seven. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Don't knock me off the edge. I'll knock you off the edge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Oh, and also, guys, it's like 80 degrees where I am right now. Like, 80... 85 degrees in the middle of the, uh... We're completely out of torches. <laughs> we have no coal. No coal whatsoever. Okay, so let's, uh... Yeah, maybe not risk at all and just go down this way. Let's take the safe path. I know, this is gonna be a very, very long episode, guys. Just a fair warning. You might have to piece this into a couple of parts. But that's okay. I think that's the zombie we were just uh, we were just looking at. Okay, so this, we'll call this one number six. And this will be negative 356, negative 41, negative 30. Okay. Uh, so now we have those two. Number six. I, I can't believe, I mean, there's seven. Like, and I still can't believe that, but like... Oh, we got we, we we got to map them all out. Maybe put them in like a book and quill or something. I don't know. I'll just take a screenshot of it and just pull it up when we start going crazy on stuff. And this is going to be uh, this is going to be number five, negative three, forty-eight, negative forty-eight, negative one hundred. So that that one's like already seventy blocks. From the other one. God, they really need to fix this F3 menu. It's a little bit... It's gotten a little bit bloated. It used to be so clean. If we ever do a Let's Play in the old version, I'll, I'll tell you exact... Or I'll show you exactly how clean it is. It's so much better. Negative 111. Okay. That's number four. And then... We'll do the order we found them. So we'll do number three as this one. Okay, I'm kind of getting the lay of the land. I mean, we need to go back and get a bunch more torches. I don't even know if we have coal, but we'll repair this pickaxe and go on a little coal expedition. I think I'm, I'm so driven to record right now, dude. I can't even... Oh, I feel like this is a good bit. Okay, so negative... Or number three. Negative three, twelve. Negative thirty-nine. Neg negative, oh, negative 39, negative 178, okay. Just trying to make sure those are correct, okay. And then we have number two <laughs> and number one. If we find an eighth, we find an eighth. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't think I can handle anymore is the point. I think, I think my brain would shut down. Number two, negative 337, negative 44. Negative 159. Okay. And then we'll lastly do the first one. Well, I guess technically that one was the first one, but hey, it is what it is. I still could not believe 
I heard him walking around. I heard that geode noise. I was like, no way. F3, T, T. Number one, negative 355, negative 35, negative 161. So looking at them, so on the X coordinate, they're all within 50 blocks. On the Y coordinate, they're all within, see 48, the lowest is 35. So they're all with 13, within 13. And then, yeah, you could say the negative 30 to negative 161 is definitely a little, you know what I mean? Those are kind of far away, 120 blocks. But then they're on the same like X axis. So I don't know, dude, it might be worth it to have all of those connected. How we would accomplish such a task, I don't know, but we need a few things. We need a few things. We need coal. We need, we just, we need, hold on, we gotta go. I'm like all freaked out. Where is my ladder? Where is my ladder? I think it's down here. Let's take a breath. Take a breath, Neo. Take a breath. Okay. Ladder is right here. I don't have any more torches, so I can't mark this, but we can mark it with something crazy. Yeah, like this. There we go. Let's just, uh, let's clear this inventory out a little bit. Throw it where I might not pick it up again. So this, 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 this. I'll keep the saddle, but I don't need any of that. Now, I don't know if you can fly up. Oh, and my helmet's gone. That's great. I think I have another helmet, though. And, yeah, this one. May not be as good, but mending and protection four is, that's pretty much as good as I can ask for. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm still. Oh, can you fly up a ladder? Probably. Hmm. I think you'd have to. Okay, and I need to break this because we want the beacons thing to be right there. Okay, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I can find this again. Pretty sure I can find this again. If not, I will do boom, 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 boom. And thank God I didn't throw away these ladders. Now I don't know if this will be to sunlight or not. I would assume, but like. I don't know, Minecraft could be a little janky with that kind of stuff sometimes. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, we need we, we, we need a bunch of stuff, first of all. We need coal. We need way more wood. Let's go let's let's go get the wood first since I'm thinking about it. Because I know I need the coal. We need that coal. Close the door because it's night. Don't want any creepy crawlies getting in. We have wood, but in not a great form. But it's okay. We'll 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 take we'll take it we'll take it. Um, and we could put that in the yellow shulker box. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of throwing things where they fit. I'm just kind of throwing things where they fit. We'll rename everything eventually. Okay. Let's see about our coal situation. Now I don't even know where to begin with coal. I don't know. I, I am gonna I'm gonna sleep real quick. I don't think that skeleton is too close, right? Can we sleep? We can sleep. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture on my phone of all those before too. I think that might be might be a little bit easier. My phone's trying to scan the text. Oh, it looks like you found a lot of dungeons. Would you uh would you like to share with the class? So I'm pretty sure all the coal that I took was all that we had in here. I mean, we have some coal ore. You know, I mean, this is something, but not a lot. Uh, we need to repair this pickaxe before too long. We have the diamonds and the levels to do it. So let's go and do that real quick. But there's no coal in here. And I doubt, like, do I have any torches? If I did, they would be in, like, what, this? Yeah, we don't we don't have any torches. We'll take some more auxiliary wood. We'll even mm, we'll take signs. I feel like there's gonna be coal in just some really dumb spots. So I'm gonna even go as far as to checking our lava farm down in here. 
Because there's chests in here. We have eight torches. I mean, I'll take the torches. But coal? No, it doesn't look like any coal. But then there's also chests. Obviously, there's the chest down in there. I, I wonder if for some reason... No. And then the CBC. See, this is why I want a central inventory area. I'm still, like, with that. But, obviously, bigger things have happened since. There's tons of wood and stuff in here. That's where I kept extra wheat. Yeah, obviously, there's no coal in here. Okay. But then there's also these chests over here, <laughs> which were for our quarry. Brother. I will take... I will take you. You're a great shovel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's some coal. I think everything else, yeah, it's just dirt and then... Okay. So we'll place all this down, mine it, but before I do that, I'm going to repair this pickaxe, which I need some sticks for because I gotta craft an actual um, pickaxe. So let's craft one of those. Just real quick, like. Uh, might as... Mm, no. And then, let's see. How much is it going to cost to repair this bad boy? I thought I needed... I know I need... Oh, no! Oh, no! 33 levels! Brother! You're taking a lot from me for that. Okay. Um... I do, like, need a Silk Touch pickaxe. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just... Um, we don't have any lapis in here. What? What am I doing? Where is my lapis? Where is my lapis? Is it? Is it over here again? Do I, I keep? I keep like bringing it with me and all. Actually, I know where it is. I think it's down in the villager breeder. But I think we might have a little bit. Okay, you just don't need to be in there. But it's so much easier to be able to fly now instead of having to like walk for. I mean, not that long, but. Instead of having to walk. So we need 33 levels left when we do this. But I'm okay. Silk Touch. In efficiency 3. That's literally perfect. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll take it. You know what? I might as well just go and see. That's. Then we need 33. We need 33 to repair this. Okay. Uh, but we need... Another diamond pickaxe to repair. Okay, I know we have a lot of pickaxes in here. I know. And also, I'm gonna put lapis in here. This is where this is where our enchanting stuff is. Don't know why it was all separated. I don't know at what point that happened. I keep trying to click on the lectern like that's gonna help me. This and this. 33, and then it's too expensive this way. So seven dungeons is septuple dungeons. Seven dungeons. Oh, the anvil broke. I was like, whoa, what just happened? Where, where did we? Okay, so we have a little bit of coal, obviously, in our, in our, in our thing here, but I think, okay, wait, no, hold up. Okay, we're just going to, no, sir. I don't need those, and I also cannot risk having any more chests. Like, I, I have chests over here. This one's empty. This one is full of coal ore. We had a silk touch pickaxe for the longest time. There's even emeralds in here, which we kind of want for some mending. Um, there's even chests in here. Oh, I know. It's just, at least I know where all the chests are because this was done within the last year. But, like, oh, there's even more coal ore in here. Even more coal in here. I'm just trying to like take in what all's in here. This is like a garbage chest, but we'll, we'll leave it for now. Okay, and then I I feel like there's definitely some iron and stuff in here. Oh, there's a. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about coal for a little bit. Even more diamonds. We'll take those with us. Another anvil. We'll take that with us. We'll take extra torches. Don't need a chest. Don't need a crafting table. Even more coal, just randomly. Wow, okay. Five emerald ore. The thing is, is those are super rare. I kind of want to keep those. They're like a really rare block. 
Okay. And I want mending on this, but I think it's kind of expensive. And I think we'd have to trade for sticks for emeralds, I believe. So let me do something here. Let me do something that's going to make us very happy because I cannot handle my inventory. It is killing me, dude. It is killing me. Let us see a little bit of organization. White. What is white? I don't know, but I'm putting all tools into the white one. Okay, that's great. There's wood in here, so we'll just continue. I feel like if I had a brown one, that'd be better, but wood stuff is going into there. Uh, all tools and stuff like that is going... Oh, there's so much good stuff in here. Let's just, let's just drain that one out. Okay, so all tools are going into here. Armor, stuff like that. Uh... I don't know what blue is, but we're going to call that one resources. We're getting a bunch of resources. Pink. Uh, rare loot. Rare items. Like, good good items. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, tools. This is a tool. Um, so we need the torches. We need the water bucket. We need the steak. We need to go get more food before we do anything else. We need more food. We can also organize this a little bit. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know at what point. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just let's just cool our jets here. Okay. <laughs> See, I was getting to the point where they were, it was the point of no return. Very soon on that, you know what I mean? Where you, you get stuff and it's like, uh, you get any further with this and it's like uh, you're not gonna be able to come back. We have three anvils. Okay, that's that's great. I guess I. How did we acquire three anvils? Because, like, building materials, we'll say gray. This is all, like, building materials. These are wood-type stuff, though. I don't want that. I don't I don't want that. Um, building materials. I feel like that's close enough to a building material. I don't need two sand. I'm sorry. I'm just going to... Now, rare stuff, that would be a beacon. Building materials, glass. And then we had this stuff in here. We also have a bucket in there. Brother, what was going on in my brain? We have three buckets of water. I, we just we just need two, but you know what? We'll keep three for posterity's sake. That's technically like... I'm going to say that's a rare rare drop. Name tag. And then resource would be iron. Okay. Wood stuff. Crafting table. Okay. Now I can take my stuff out. Uh, yes, that is the right sword. And then I already have all that. Where is so this is the seven dungeons. This is going to be purely for uh, mining. You know what I'm talking about. It's for mining the shulker boxes. Okay. Okay. That's all the tools. Okay. Everything is nice and organized now. Get out of here. Stop trying to ruin my organization. We need to mine all the coal that we can. Um, we need to get mending, so we need to trade a bunch of sticks. Let's put the resources back up for now, and let's make just an absolute ton of sticks. I don't, I don't know how many we need exactly. We already have twelve, and then we left books in here and one of these. Okay, so what is it? Fourteen emerald. Oh, it's only fourteen emeralds, brother. I just wasted so much on these sticks. Okay, I think it was one near the end. You know what? I'll just take the. Okay, really. Yes, hurt me three times. What? That's not. Oh, it's paper. Bro, what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, I, whatever. I I guess I got it conf confused with Fletcher's. Don't ask me. Okay, I'll 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 remedy that later. Now we just have a bunch of sticks. We have three books to trade. Do I want to trade them? No, not necessarily. But that's what we're gonna do. I wonder why my armor broke. Okay, so you were trading three... Four books for an emerald. Four books for an emerald. Oh, okay, and then I gotta grab one more book. Just one more book. And we should be good. Mending. And we gotta take an anvil out of this chest. I don't think... <laughs> well, we... Well, 
Wait, too expensive? Why is it too expensive? What about that is too expensive? We just need to go get a bunch of levels. That's what we need to do. I'd say this is a very rare item. Okay. Anvil. I feel like an anvil is kind of a rare item, isn't it? Yeah, it's already in the rare item's chest. Oh, save me. Okay. <laughs> we, we do definitely need to get all this coal gone, so we'll handle that. I'll go up to the surface. Okay. This should all beautifully go back into my inventory. Nice. Okay, cool. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to break all this coal. Yay, coal. There's even more coal right there, but I'm not going to take that. Oh, well, let's sleep. Let's sleep. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to place all the coal, show you how big all the coal is because it's going to be impressive. And then I will come back and we will, I don't know, continue on. I like how I just slept in the cave back. I don't know. I was having a week or a, or a few couple of weeks, you know. I, it's been like four months since I got that news, so, you know, as much as... I don't even want to know. I, I don't even want to know. So, what I was trying to say is, you know, it's been four months since I got that news, and obviously you're never going to be, like, okay with it, but you make your peace with things in your own way and in your own time, and I've made as much peace as I can with that. You know, losing your father or potentially losing your father is not something you just kind of learn and you're like oh okay you know obviously it's gonna it's gonna hit you you know and it, and it, it, it still it just like randomly hits me like it just randomly hits me and I'm, I'm glad you guys know now so that it's not like you know I, I wasn't trying to you know be mysterious about it or anything but like as much as you can like you know I I, I just I, I want I want to keep it private obviously I just told I don't know like five ten twenty thousand people but it's just there's always parts of my life that, you know, even though I'm an influencer... Oh, I hate that word. I hope I don't really influence anybody <laughs> unless they want to be bad at the game. Uh, I, I always considered influencers more like people that show their face and are like, you know, I don't know, attractive. And they're like, you know, they have some social pull and they're like, yo, man, this water bottle's dope, brother. You should buy this water bottle that you sniff and then it flavors the water. <laughs> oh, you should go look up a video about those. Those are a complete scam, dude. They are terrible. And these promoters. See, I, I never took sponsorships, right? Like, like I run a server. I run Neo Network. And, and that's great and all. Um, but I never took sponsors. I just never felt, you know, beyond having already having, beyond already having ads on my videos. I was like, I'm not going to do more ads. So... No hate to the people that have sponsors, but I didn't want to take that path. I wanted to find something else, you know, and I didn't want to sell merch and, you know, tell you guys to go buy my merch. And most of the time, YouTuber merch is like garbage quality. I highly recommend Linus Tech Tips merch. His merch is absolutely great. I have two of his screwdrivers and they are the best screwdrivers I've ever felt in my life. Like they're truly like the fact that you have all these bits like in the back. Oh, dude. Go buy yourself a Linus Tech, tech Tip screwdriver. Yes, they're expensive, but if you use screwdrivers a lot, you know, you build computers, you do stuff like that, maybe you want a nice screwdriver. You deserve one, I guess. Um, okay, so this should be enough coal to light up everything. We're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the beacon down down there, uh, but I'm going to go to the end real quick. We're going to gather a ton of XP. I know this is like a really big episode, but I'm going to try to time this where episode 20 comes out Friday. This one comes out Saturday so that people have a bunch of time to watch it. And then, so I know there was a big gap between the episodes. I'm recording this and it's technically Tuesday, right? But I don't want to, like, I don't know. I don't want to upload this on a Wednesday because just not that many people on their computer and phone and whatever watching YouTube videos on a Tuesday. Uh, which one's the resources? This one. Okay, so we should be good on coal, like, for a while. And I do want these to be in some semblance of an order, but I, like, don't know what order. Someone tell me. This would be B, R, M, P, O, G, G, R, Y, W. So just use that. The only one that's not the first letter of the color is green or, or gray. So just call that one GR and then green. Because, green. like, I, I know that, like, this would come after and then probably yellow would come after green. But, like, 
That doesn't really look like a rainbow to me. So I don't know. Okay, nope, I'm not dealing with that. All right, so I'm gonna go to my end XP farm, get a bunch of XP, and then I'll come back. And, dude, we're gonna be cooking. Dude. I gotta tell my cousin about this too. He's really into Minecraft as well. And like, oh, dude, I haven't felt this crazy about a Minecraft world in a while. Like, my ideas are going crazy in my head because I, I, I wanna like use the tinted glass and like encase the dungeon spawner with maximum efficiency and then have like tubes connecting all of them and then being able to watch all of them and ride around in a minecart inside of my factory. Hmm, dude. This is gonna be a world, man. You guys better stick around. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You don't wanna miss this. I promise. And I guess you have to turn on notifications now because subscriptions don't matter anymore. Okay, bye. All right, I'm just here gathering a little bit of, a little bit of XP. Kill the rest of this, uh, little uh, area of them and then call it good. I need to get food. I need to remember to pick up blaze rods on the way back. Uh, blaze rods and we need to get more food. I don't know how much longer this episode will go, but I'm just like recording when I want to. Again, like I could have drawn this out into like three or four episodes, but I feel like when I'm in a good mood to record, I should really capture that moment and stay as long as I can. So that's what I am doing. Okay, that's the last one. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Um, so, game plan. Food and blaze rods. Why blaze rods? So that I can make ender pearls or eyes of ender so that I can... Oh, I guess I slept here last. <laughs> I always forgot it puts you at your last uh, slept point. That was kind of a, a little bit jarring, but I guess I expected to end up in the end base, but this is a lot closer, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, okay, so blaze rods. Wow, look at me, I'm flying like a G right now, dude. Let's go. We don't need all of these. We honestly, I think we already have enough. We just, I mean, we're not gonna make more than 16 ender chests. I think that makes, yeah, 18. We'll bring some more just in case. We'll grab a few more. Okay, a few more. A few more, buddy. Um, and then we also need food, which I know there was some in here, but I guess we had taken it out. We have so much steak in here, so we'll just cook like a bunch and I don't want to have to worry about food for a while. So we're just going to throw this in here. I'm going to go do something for a little bit. Oh, I guess there's just randomly. Okay. <laughs> it's just randomly some, uh, steak in that one. Sure. So I'm gonna wait for this. Um, trying to think, is there anything else we need? I guess we could go enchant, I, but I don't know if this is gonna run while we're over at the enchanting table. I have no idea how that works. Okay, I have the coordinates, I have the picture. I need to quit worrying about that, I have the picture. I'm afraid I'm just, I'm afraid it's like a dream and I'm gonna come back and they're all gonna be gone. They're all just gonna be gone. So we got 51 levels, that should be, wow. That was kind of cool. We got 51 levels. So that should be good enough. Uh, get out our rare chest. We need we, we need we need to label all these. We need to label all these uh, before we do anything. And also, we need that's not the right thing. So let's do that. Let's put down an anvil and let's label all of these before we get any further. This one, the blue one, is going to be resources. Resources. Okay. This one is already the boom box. We did nothing in the pink green. This one is the wood. Wood. Okay. And then this is rare items. Rare items. Um we'll just call this tools. And then this one building. And then as we get, you know, uses for the other ones, we'll name them. Uh, so we need the rare, or we know we need this, and then we also need wood. Okay, so boom and boom. Take some sticks out. Not that many. And then some diamonds, and then we're going to go crazy for a little bit. We'll just make three to start with. Start cooking on these. See what we can get. I just need... Okay, I mean that's 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 like that's like the actual that's the one we needed, which is fine. We'll we'll take that one. That's just a great pickaxe in general. 
that's a decent pickaxe. So we're going to keep those two, and then we're going to grind off the enchants on this one. So just efficiency four is not exactly what I'm looking for. That's okay. Well, I guess our luck had to run out at some point. Couple more. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. We can do one more and then we can add mending to one of those. That's not right. So let's hope this one is good. I just wanted fortune again. Mm, no, not, 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 not great, but it's okay. So we'll add mending to one of these. I think these are rare items. Definitely mending in there. Okay, so which pickaxe? Probably, I, ideally it would be this one, but it says too expensive, so we won't do that one. Uh, the one with silk touch would be nice to have ending on. Yeah, that would be nice. It's only efficiency four though, and this one's efficiency five. So maybe that's two, and then can we combine that with this one to get efficiency five? Yeah, cost 12, which way is cheaper that way? 12, okay. So seven dungeons and then we'll we'll keep this one. We'll call this uh, inventory tool. Okay. And then for the beacon, we need gold. I I probably want to grab a little bit more gold than we have. So let's pick these up. Okay. And then I know it's kind of jumbled again, but we'll 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 clean it up. Okay. Lapis. 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 Stay in this chest as best you can. I know it's not your fault. It's my fault. Uh, we need to bring gold because I know it, it costs something. I'm pretty sure it costs gold to like change the uh, like what it's doing, like haste, because we obviously need haste. So let's see. Pretty. Where where do where 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 do we use where do we where do we put all our gold? For, for what did we use gold for? And why do we have literally none? What did we use all of our gold for? Dude, I don't know. We're deep enough in that area where we can get more if we need it. Okay? We can get more if we need it. And then as far as wood goes, we don't really have enough. We do have a decent axe. Yeah, I'm breaking three. That's actually pretty good. Let's go and just get some wood before we go down. I don't want to get cherry wood. I really like the look of that dark oak. I'm trying to think. I think it's closer dark oak forest is over in this direction. Um, we'll probably grow dark oak. I just like, I just, I've always liked dark oak the most, okay? Yeah, it's a little dark, I mean, literally, but uh, is the dark oak in this direction? I don't know, I mean, we can find out pretty quickly. Oh. Oh, our pants are at their limit, dude. Yeah, it's right here. That's not great, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, nice little lush, little lush something under here too. Okay. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to collect wood for a while, watch some YouTube. And that way, you know, we don't need any wood when we're underground. Just because I assume I'll be building like a little base camp area. And then we're going to make an anvil. Not an anvil, a beacon. Mine a bunch of obsidian, make a bunch of ender chests, put the shulker boxes into the ender chest, and then we will have um, the beacon there. I don't know if in this episode, I in this episode, I at least want to get to where I can see all of those dungeons at once. I want that. I'm not going to clear out a big like box room or anything like that yet, but we will do that soon. We'll do like some sort of lab underground. It's going to be super dope, dude. I am so excited. I'm like actually so excited for this. And I guess I don't really need the wood right now to do all that. But rather than going and getting it later, I'm just going to bite the bullet and get it now. That way I don't have to get it later. So, okay. Time to YouTube a little bit. Okay. It's becoming dark. Uh, we'll put all this into the wood chest. It might have to throw out a few sticks, but it's okay. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's head out. So I think... Which way is the right way? Oh, no. Uh, this way. This way. Oh, dude. I can't, like, what if we find... Okay, is there a dungeon in here? Is there a little dungeon in here? 
I saw the mossy cobble. I was freaking out. No, but there's a tree in the cave. No, it doesn't look like it. Probably not. Probably not. Let's just let's just stop. I wish you could still find them on the surface, like in an area like that. You know how cool that would be. That would be so cool. But I think that's a long time past that they haven't been able to spawn on the surface. Oh yeah, that thing's done. See, I told you I'd never really notice it. I wonder if it's been... I guess it's just... I don't know if it cooks when I'm down here. I gotta go get my food, but... Uh, I wonder if it just kind of, like, works. No, this is not gonna work. We need a little bit more. Oh, and of course I lost all the momentum. Okay, we'll fly around here. Fly around here. Right into here. Okay. I don't... I don't... I mean... There's already so much stuff in there. I'm never gonna end up using it anyways, but... I mean, obviously, it, it does work very well. I mean, only creepers spawn in it. It's kind of hard to tell when there's water, but... Yep, you can see a group of creepers. There you go. Um, let's go check this food. I bet the food is done. Surely the food is done. I mean, we were, like, super far away, though. I don't think it was loaded in. Oh, it is done. Oh. Dun-dun-dun-dun! Should we do, like, a food chest? Seems like something we would do. Orange. That's that seems like right, and then we need the rare rare items. Okay. And then we need to name this one food. It looks like a food box. Food. Okay. And then we'll have basically like a mobile inventory. Kind of. Rare item. Rare rare. That's rare, rare, rare. That's a material though. Where is my materials chest? Resources. That's a resource. We need a tools chest. Where's the tools chest? Tools. Oh, we also need to put food in. Food. Food. Okay. And then I guess the wood chest, we could... I, I don't know where to put the saplings. Oh. Dude, this is like staring me in the face. This is like, this is like staring me in the face. Alive. Oh, we have to put it in there first to type... Uh, we'll just call it living. Or living, kind of, you know, I'll put things in there that, you know, were once living, too, like a piece of beef. Okay, so we'll put this up, and then, what were we doing? Oh, yes, tools chest. We don't need this now. Uh, the inventory tool, we'll get that out, but we'll separate that. We're not gonna need, we'll, have, we'll just have to run through that one for a while. Maybe we shouldn't, though, because that one has fortune three. Yeah, we'll 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 use this one for now. Um, keep the shovel with us. I definitely want some more uh, oh, inventory, man. This is the alive chest. So we'll put that stuff in there. But look at that, dude. We're already like completely, pretty much sorted. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Okay, and then we have the inventory inventory tool in another box. Okay, so we have food. We might want to take some food. And then go back to our base. We'll sleep uh, or go to our under. Oh, we're already calling it our base, man. That, that's a good sign. I know that in my resources and then rare, rare items, I'm going to take both of these things out because I want to make sure I get this immediately. This and then we need the gold and then all the iron, which I hope you can make a beacon out of iron. I feel like you can. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so it is straight in this direction. I'll meet you when we're there. Well, <laughs> that's the funny part is that once you see that set of chunks load in, we're there. We're there. <laughs> nice. And I never made any torches. Like I said, I was gonna, but that's okay. We're gonna put the, I almost want like a quick access, but we just have to go down the ladder for now. So the top of the beacon will be right there. Yes. <laughs> Okay, and then I don't think like the Y coordinate matters too much, uh, but we'll dig down to like, well, let me figure out what this Y level is. So negative, what, 29? No, negative, no, it goes, it goes down. Negative 48, okay. So yeah, let me make sure, yeah, negative 48. So I'm gonna dig the ladder down to negative 48 and then dig straight out to, my throat seriously hurts so bad. Ah, oh, maybe. Oh, my chest plate. Okay. You know what I do need to get out like before anything is I need this chest plate out. Oh, it only has protection three? 
But we're lacking on the armor front. Jeez. I already forgot. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to go to the ladder, dig it down to there, and then, and then connect it. Okay, there you go. Hey, well, I did find some gold just now. So <laughs> if we need some gold, there we go. Jeez, how much longer is this thing? We should be able to insta mine this stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay, well, now you can't get up the stairs. Now you can. Crisis averted. Okay. Um, there's no point in putting torches in here. I'm about to straight demolish this thing. Uh, I don't remember exactly how beacons work. I know that, like, we need, like, a pretty good area for it. I'm just trying to, like, remember what size gets you the most effect. So we'll start off like this. And then we need, like, an access staircase. But it's going to go out from here, but... I might as well just like put the beacon on top of this right now and then go from there. I'll, I'll give myself like a little way to get over to here. Because the ladder goes down like right there. <laughs> do I have any? Yes, I do have some ladders. That would be. Oh, you can't jump to that. Hmm. You can jump to this. There we go. So you'll come down on the beacon just for now because we need to clear out a very large area. I might have to end up moving the beacon a few times, but that's okay. Okay, we can put this up. We can put the sticks up. Okay. Nice. Yellow. There we go. Yellow. So the beacon will go right here. I don't know if it'll... Yes. Yeah, so what's the biggest size? Oh, we don't need the secondary power. Wait. But no, it just increases the range, I guess, doesn't it? Oh, and it takes any resource. So now we have haste. But I think we can get a higher level of haste. I mean, it, it makes it slightly faster. It's not, it's not a lot faster right now. Oh, okay. Okay, so we can kind of find the beacon like this. Okay. I just, I, I'm digging this area out here. Right, because this room is going to be... Like where we need to access the beacon, so that's why I'm, that's why I'm digging this out. I know I'm, I know I'm not really making sense. I'm like trying to think of a thousand things at once. Um, so we'll have this go over to here, and then go down in a ladder. Well, actually, we'll have it go over one, and then go down on a ladder like right here, and then we'll intercept the staircase. There we go. Wait, what? <laughs> What is this? Oh, this is the bottom path. That's fine. That's fine. And then we need the wood chest back out again for a few handy dandy ladders. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it works. It's kind of a jank ladder, but it does work. That's fine. That is acceptable. Okay, and then we can grab the resources chest and put up um, the gold. Boom, boom. I want to get these ender chests going quick. The first thing we're going to do is go get a bunch of lava. But now I just have to dig this thing out from below. That way I can actually size this thing properly. Because otherwise I'll end up making it like too small. So this will be the exact size of the next layer, right? So, boom, boom. The reason I'm building it from the bottom is so that I don't miss any, any spots on it. Right, so this is exactly how big the next layer has to be. I'll have to break all these blocks anyways. You, 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 you get what I'm doing now, right? You get what I'm doing. I need to break out the whole layer like this. Right, and then break out the next layer. So I'll come back in a bit. You don't need to watch this. Okay, so we're at the last layer. I assume that this is the last layer. Um, I don't I don't know how big it was this nine by nine three. Six, nine, this is nine by nine. I think that's, I, I remember that being the largest number. Um, okay, so now this thing is all set up. And I can go back up. I'm glad I built the ladder and stuff because otherwise I'd have to like, dig a staircase around it. Okay, so haste two. Oh, but I have to give it more gold. No, do I have, yes, I do. I, I, I think, oh, resources, resources. You silly goose. And you can just give it iron. You can give it literally anything. 
So now we have haste two. Okay. And hopefully that means we can insta break. What? Wow, okay. You know, that's actually insane, dude. Because I knew that Deep Slate was a little bit tougher to break than um, Cobblestone, but like I assumed you could still insta-break. That's actually... That's actually a little disheartening. I would have to dig out a lot <laughs> to make this bad boy work. Like, the amount we're gonna be This isn't even that much faster than if I don't have haste. Like, it's- like, like, to be honest, it's really not that much faster. Wow, okay. I mean, yeah. Okay, well, we-, we, we Let's- let's get what we actually came here for, okay? So, go to the tools chest. Yeah, dude, we might do a lot of digging between episodes, right? Because I don't think- How fast? Wow. You break obsidian quick, though. It's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. I'll admit. The obsidian kind of makes up for the fact that it pretty much ruins insta break. Because, like, with stone, like, if this was all, like, done where, in a stone bearing area, we'd be just fine, right? Like, stone, like, yeah, we'd be fine. But since we're in the deep slate region, yeah, just, just, I guess, the way she goes. You know, it could be worse, right? It could be worse. Okay. Well, I'm going to gather obsidian for a while. I'll get maybe a couple stacks. I feel like eight ender chests to start with is probably fine. Um, if we ever run out or something, which I don't know how we would, then we'll get more. But, oh, that was dumb of me. Yep. So, I'll be, bruh, I'll be back in a bit. Oh, we're sinking. Okay. So, I have, let's take this out. I have over 64. Got a little bit extra. Um, I do kind of want like a base camp area. I don't know exactly where it's going to be, but I assume like around this level, just because, well, this will probably be like the central point and everything. Nice. I'm not going to mind that yet. Maybe, maybe we'll leave that there as a remnants of a time once past. And I don't know how far up the ceiling we will really want to break. Maybe like to there, something like that. Oh no. Our, our evil friend, Mr. Gravel. I mean, if we run into anything, we'll insta-break it like stone and stuff, but we're never going to run into that. Um, and, and, and I kind of thought about it. It's not that big of a deal if I have to break it. I could also use gunpowder and probably... I don't know how big of an explosion TNT really makes with materials like this. I assume it's really, in reality, not that big, and it's probably better just to break it by hand. It also kind of makes a mess, but it's an option. Or we could just live stream digging it out. <laughs> that could be fun. We could do a little live stream and I could do that at any point. I don't even need to schedule it and then you guys can watch it like if you want to or you don't have to watch it. Obviously, you don't have to watch any of my stuff, but you could watch the live stream if that's something you want to watch. I'll like upload it after the fact so it'll be a video forever on the channel. Could also do it that way as well. Um, but yeah, I just want like a little bit of an area I feel comfortable putting the shulker boxes and stuff down in. Maybe some chests, stuff like that. Just so we feel like we got a little bit of home away from home. Um, and it needs to be secure ish. It doesn't need to be like super duper Fort Knox secure, but I would like to have some doors. <laughs> I'd like to have a, like the, the minimum security possible, AKA a door. I think I'd be happy if I had a door. Uh, we also need it to be very lit up. We also need it to be very lit up. I'm just breaking out just little, little spots in here just to, you know, make it into something. And obviously we have the dungeon over here. So we'll kind of start to break out a little bit of this stuff. Uh, if we do this, we need to bring this up one like that. Okay, now we're up into here and we have the beacon over there. Nice. And I'll break it over to the edge of this right here. And then we'll do like a little staircase up in there. Just for now. Just for now. Okay. So, like I said, minimum security. I'm not going to, like, be too crazy about it and make sure I have to have all this random stuff. I don't want to be too crazy. I, I want this to be somewhere I can just throw my shulker boxes down and take a breath because I've been going for a while. We This is quite a long episode. This is quite a long episode. I'm ready to kind of take a break, think about things, 
figure out where we want to put stuff, how we want to do this. There's nothing useful down over here. There's just nothing. There's nothing that we need over there. Like, there's just nothing. So we're going to bl block that off. Uh, I don't believe there's anything useful up there. So we're just going to, like, fill in the roof to this level right here. Because there's nothing up there. There, want to make sure it's lit up. But beyond that, I don't care. I don't care what happens to that up there. There's just nothing there. Nothing there for us, man. Nothing there for us. Better off without this area. Just better off without it. All sad. I'm trying to fill in as much as I can from up here, but I recognize that I can't get everything. Okay, so something like that. Uh, the obsidian area <clears throat> will have accessible, but like, right, we don't need we don't need that to be in this main room for now. And all these materials are going to be replaced. Like, we're, I promise you, this is not going to be one of those builds where I just leave it raw. We're going to make the wood walls. We're going to give it the whole shebang. And then I, I'll square this thing out for sure. I, I really will. I promise. I'm not just going to leave it like this. Uh, but for now... I'm going to leave that like that, but th this will be a square room at some point. Um, and then we'll have like the access to this be right here, right? So we'll have like a door right here. Okay. And that would mean a wall right here. And then we can have a door right there and then another wall here. Okay. And I need to figure out what is the situation with this. There's like a double staircase here. I'm not sure that there really needs to be. Yeah, I mean, why is there a staircase to get up to the same point? Probably so I could see the dungeon or something at some point. I don't know. So we'll go ahead and just fill this one in because it doesn't need to be there. Less spawnable spaces is good. Okay. And then this cave was... Yeah. There is literally nothing in there for us. So we'll close that one up as well. And sure, we'll bring the wall like to right there. Just one more, yep. Okay. So we'll break this out at some point. But for now, we'll leave it like that. Okay. And then this will go up to the ceiling. Like this. And this was the height we had decided, I think. And we'll have to kind of figure this out because it's going to be weird right there if there's a wall. You know, it's okay if the ceiling's a little bit shorter, at least right there. Okay, then we'll just bring this over to here. We don't want to have an access to the top of our house. Maybe put torch, torch. Don't update the chunks, please. Don't update the chunks. Uh, back in here a little bit. Break that one. Cool. Okay, so now... It's just... It's definitely a little, uh, little, little strange how this staircase ended up. So let's just do this. There we go. Much, much better. And we could probably even bring it one block back. And uh, I don't think we need this staircase right next to it. Right here. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. This one is fine to get to the ladder, I guess. But I don't really see why you'd need to get to this ladder. If you have another, you know what, it's fine. We'll have two ways to get to the same ladder. That is okay. And then up here, this is all just kind of cordoned off. There's nothing up there for us. Okay. So you can get up there if you want that way. But this is going to be kind of the main. Okay, so we have a door in here. Door right there. Maybe we don't need a door right there. There's one right next to it. And then we'll put like... Hmm, I wonder how we could do this. We'd probably want to use a ladder, but... I guess for now we can just do this and go up to the ceiling. I don't really care if there's a wall here. Again, this is all kind of temporary stuff. Okay, and then we'll build like a door frame over here. Assuming I have any more of this cobbled deep slate. Yeah, I do. Okay, so that's down to the lava pool because we don't really need the lava pool. And then we'll build the wall like right here since this is already built. 
some of the way right over to here. Yup. Really dark up there though. Really dark up there. Can't have darkness. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Gravel struck again, man. It struck again. I don't even know how to do the thumbnail for this episode. I have no idea. I'd love to showcase off that there's seven dungeons. And hey, I may come back to this episode later tonight. Um, I have no idea. Uh, you wouldn't know, but I, I mean, I would tell you. But like, I've been recording a while. My throat hurts. I should not have screamed like that. But eh, I would say under the circumstances, that was okay. Under the circumstances, that was okay. And then we'll have like a little doorway here or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Again, this is all like temporary stuff, but even though it's temporary, I still want it to feel good. Okay. And then, honestly, we don't need this little corner of the room. There's a light in there. It's fine. I'm not concerned about having a tiny corner. And then we can break this stuff out, and then we should have a nice, decent-sized room for, like, a base of operations. And eventually, we'll clear it out, and it'll be, like, one just giant room. But for right now, we need the little safety net. We need the little safety. Okay. 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 That... Don't worry, that bugs me too. Hold on. This should not be here. One second. You know, we're all the way down here. We didn't bring a bed. So we'll have to go and grab a bed, but luckily we're right next to the house. Not a big deal. But yeah, I, I just wanted to clear this wall out because why have the wall be like one block shorter on one side? That was just weird. So we're not going to do that. We're going to make sure this thing is properly torched up. And it's going to feel like a home very soon. We're out of torches again. <laughs> no. Uh, we have so much coal, though. We have so much coal. Okay, we'll get up here, and this is the final little bit of building. I know you're probably sick of seeing me place this deep slate. I am sick of placing it. And we need a bunch of doors. Okay, cool. So, doorway, doorway, doorway. Nice. Um, wonder, can I middle-click these, or is it going to say... Yeah, I don't. I guess they're all MBT data specific. Is this nine blocks long? Yeah, it is nine blocks long. Let's go. Okay. A little bit of a perfection thing here. Okay, so now we have all those down. And we need some sticks and we need some resources. Hey, I went to the right chest. Let's go. We're getting the right, we're, everything's kind of coming together. Everything's kind of coming together. And then we'll do on the same level, a bunch of torches up there, torches up there, and then we need basic stuff. So we need like a crafting table, which we have two of. We will do two. And then we need some wood. We'll use cherry. That's, actually, no, we're not gonna use cherry. No, what? We're not gonna use cherry. We're gonna use dark oak wood since that's what we said we were gonna use. And this gives us three doors, which for once is actually the exact number I need. Oh, dude, let's go. Let's go. And then we can take this away. Doesn't need to be that anymore. There we go. Um, and then beyond that, I mean, the rest of it's just going to be like, we'll want some chests in here. I don't, I, I, I hesitate to put down too many, right? Because I don't want to get in a position where we're relying on this for chest storage, but it feels like we're gonna be here for at least a bit digging this out and i also want to kind of think right so this dungeon here and those dungeons are going to be connected so this area is probably going to be removed at some point this wall is honestly probably the safest part so we're going to put the chest like this okay and then do like this eh, we need two more chests Okay. Well, those are not centered at all. <laughs> Don't worry. It bugs me too, but it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. And now we have a spot where we can just start dumping stuff like this that we just don't, we just don't need it. We just don't need it. Okay. So now an ender chest. After all this time, we're finally at the point where I, I feel comfortable making this ender chest. So well, we have the materials to do it mainly. Brother. Okay. There we go.
What do we not have enough of? Oh, blaze powder. Uh, yeah, I think we have enough blaze powder. <laughs> think we have enough blaze powder, please. We run out of... Oh, we ran out of obsidian? But it needs eight. Oh, we made ten. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Okay, cool. All right, well, we'll put the inner chest... Wait a second. Okay, so I need the ender chest out of here. Then I need the inventory tool, which will be present inside of this ender chest. So we'll put ender chest here with nine ender chests inside of it, plus the inventory tool. And then to break it, well, to break it, you kind of need to have this outside of there. But luckily, our main one has silk touch. So we're okay in this case. And then we just kind of... There you go, baby. That's a... That's a pretty handy storage option. Just a little ender chest. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please do leave it a like. Make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss the future episodes. We're about to do some pretty crazy stuff. Let's take a little peek again just to make sure that we, that we weren't dreaming. Make sure nothing broke. So we got a zombie spawner up here. Oh, this is this is actually like still so crazy to me. And then we have two spawners right here. And then over here, you can even see it. We have a fourth spawner. A fourth spawner. A fifth spawner. And then over here, we have a sixth spawner which is i think that's definitely too far and then a seventh one somewhere i i don't know we we wrote it down at some point i genuinely i i think it might be in here but it's like uh, it's a little bit far for my taste we'd have to dig to try to find it um and kind of link it with the other ones because yeah i don't know i know it's like down in here and then maybe yeah right here I think the game's trying to tell us something. Let's at least, like, kind of link it up. Because I am curious. You can you can leave now. Oh, secret code for today's episode is... Neo found... Wait. We're actually, we're going to call it Seven Dungeons. That's the secret code for today's episode. Seven Dungeons. <laughs> So evil. But yeah, you can go ahead and end the video here if you want. I'm just going to be digging for a little bit. Figure I might as well record. Because the people that are still watching after this long probably don't care what I'm doing. They just want to watch me do stuff. So uh, I'm just going to dig. There's nothing is going to happen. We found seven, right? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. This one is not that far at all. Wait, 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 wait. Because the other one is up there. I think the game doesn't like my, my discoveries. Yeah, to, to dig to this one to, to make it show is going to be kind of a pain. But we, we do need to do it. Even with this haste, man, digging this... The, the, us digging is going to be a long, drawn-out process. I'll put it that way. It's going to be a long, drawn-out process. Wow, okay. I just want, like, the bare minimum of just, like, being able to, like, at least see something. Like the mossy cobble. Okay, can I see the mossy cobble now from here? Brother. I know what to break. Fear not. Game does not want me finding this many spawners. <laughs> I think I, I think I've I've angered the the Minecraft uh, gods. I th I think they're very unhappy with the amount of spawners that I've found. Which, to be fair, I'm very happy about it. So I don't care that they're unhappy. 
Yeah, okay, so there's one spawner. So you can see three spawners just right here. And then you have the other three over there. And then this one is, well, I mean, over there. So I, I, don't, I don't think we can link that one up. That's the only one that's like really far away. Hopefully when we're digging out, if we find another one, that would be great. Not expecting that to happen. Doubt that's going to happen. That seems very, very unlikely. I, I mean, six spawners is already a pretty good size for one dungeon. Put it that way. Put it that way. Okay. Yeah, well, that's that's great. I, I kind of want to contain this lava a little bit. Just because it's a little uh, a little spooky to be this close to me. Brother, 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 stop. <laughs> Why do I play with lava when all it does is burn me over and over, over and over, with no regard for me at all? Just burns me. So now you can see that other one. So from standing in this one spot. From standing in this one spot, you can see one, two, three, four. Plus the three over there is seven. Thank you guys for watching Secret Code 7 Dungeons. See you in the next one. I'm so hyped. This is going to be awesome. Bye.